Melanie Lambor fires back to Grohl in the corner. Three pointer, yes! Nothing but net for Tierra Grohl, and the Rebels are back on top. 
Rich Rebel Basketball is on. Back outside, Hopkins open three. Yes, Julia Hopkins ties it. After going 20-8 and, and finishing fifth at last season's state tournament, the Lady Rebels have their eyes fixed on finishing a few spots higher this season. Dribbles across the timeline, passes up ahead, and Risha Larson with the finish from the right side. Coach Cody Lundgren returns for his third season on the bench, and with eight seniors on the squad and a realigned region, the Rebels are ready to run. Dishes off, lace and turn, shoots and hits. Jackie Lafson with the bucket. MyLocalRadio.com presents Rich Rebel Basketball on KDQFM 98.3. Rebel Radio with live streaming video at MyLocalRadio.com. Yep, Amber Lee for the three. Right wing, yes, Amber Lee Smith. Rich High School Hoops is brought to you by... Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet, Cash Honda Yamaha and Logan by West Star Printing and Rocky Mountain Sign of Evanston. The Wind River Hotel and Casino of Riverton, Wyoming, and by MyLocalRadio.com. Kick it across, Cornea left baseline jumper, good. Nothing but net, Kaylee Cornea. And now Rebel Round Ball fans. Lafeson again, this time lobs it in. Nye, quick shot, got it to go, Kim Nye. Put the kids to bed, tie up the horses, and turn up the volume. Katie fires across the lane, nice pass. Larson wide open, and Talisha. As we head courtside to join the voice of the rich Rebels, Ryan Steinekert. Kiara for three from the right wing, yes! Good evening, Rebel fans, and welcome to Rich High Lady Rebel Basketball on KDQFM 98.3 and MyLocalRadio.com. Today, the Rebels hit the hardwood for a battle, a, a rivalry game with the North Summit Braves. They're in town tonight. Freshman JV, uh, well, the freshman finished up. The JV is in a close game. Tip-off for the varsity is set for 30 minutes from now. And in the meantime, we have your comprehensive family dental pregame show, including the Laziest Ranch scene set. You're tuned in, Rich. You're tuned in to Rich High Rebel Basketball on Rebel Radio, KDQ FM 98.3, with live streaming video online at mylocalradio.com. When you have dental care done, you let the dentist and the hygienists into your personal space. It's important that you and your family trust that your dentist will provide professional care in a comfortable atmosphere. Comprehensive Family Dental is a family-owned and operated business that understands how important this trust is. Two locations make it convenient for you and your family when scheduling appointments. When it comes to your dental work, expect the best. Call Comprehensive Family Dental today at 435-793-2210. Welcome back to Rebel Basketball and the Comprehensive Family Dental pregame show. Comprehensive Family Dental providing quality family dentistry since 1998. We've got an exciting game for you today. The JV game is getting chippy. The fans are getting into it. It's tied at 26 with 7.37 left to go in the ball game. And it's a tight one in the JV game. In fact, is any indication of what the varsity game will be like. We're in for a good one tonight. Looking ahead at today's matchup in the scene set, brought to you by Lazy S Ranching, encouraging you to eat more beef and cheer on the Rebels. Rich comes in, uh, most recently a 58-38 win over the Grace Grizzlies from 1A Idaho. Uh, the Grizzlies came in at just two and six on the season and the Rebels started hot, outscoring the Grizzlies 16 to seven in the first quarter and went on to a 30 to 19 lead at the half. Cruise to victory. Rebels outscored Grace uh, 28 to 19 in the second half as well. And Kiara Grohl had 26 points in the game. Julia Hopkins finished with 12. And uh, each of them beat the buzzer with three point baskets at the end of the second and third quarters in that game. And Rich improved to five and five, back up to 500 on the season. About a uh, pretty similar season so far for North Summit. They're 5-5 five and five as well are the Braves, ranked fourth in the latest Deseret News 2A rankings. The Braves started off with a, a pretty a bad blowout loss against Emory, but since then they've either won or been really close in all of their games. They lost a close one to Roy, lost a pretty close one to Bear River, lost in overtime against Morgan, and a one-point loss against Beaver are their other four losses this season. Uh, a pretty dominant win against Preston. They blew out Juab, beat North Severe by one, crushed Tabiona on December 19th, 54-26, to and then beat Carbon just before the new year, 56-46, to to go to to move to five and five. Now the North Summit Lady Braves are coached by former Rebel coach Jerry Holmes. They've got two state titles in their history at the end of the 84 season and at the end of the 85 season. Uh, two state titles for North Summit, and they've been close the last couple of years uh, as well to earning a third. Uh, last year, 23-2 and two throughout the regular season. They went 9-1 and one in Region 16, lost only twice in the season, once in region play against South 
South Summit late in the year and then lost in the quarterfinals to North Severe 48-42. Finished fifth place with a win over Enterprise. In 2015-16, they lost in the semifinals to the 2A champs Delta 52-46 and ended up finishing third with a, or a fourth rather with a loss to Summit Academy in that uh, four, third and fourth place game. Uh, previous to that, uh, not uh, too close, the uh, seventh place finish in 2014-15, and then they lost in the first round of the state playoffs the two years before that. But again, this is a, a North Summit team that you look at 23 wins last year, 16 the, the year before that, 21, 18, and 16 those three previous years. They've won a lot of games in the last few years, and especially against the Rich Rebels. So North Summit on a four-game win streak against Rich. The closest of those four games was, I believe, in 2013-14, a 16-point win. Yeah, they won in 16, uh, won by 16 two years ago as well. Last year, a dominant win for the Lady Braves, 52 to 30 over the Rebels in that contest. Rich got 12 points from Kiara Grohl and nobody else in double figures. Elise Richens led the way for North Summit in that game, had 14 points, Hunter Vernon eight. Now those are two players that are not back, will not play tonight for the Braves. They were, well, one was a senior, Elise Richens, Megan Richens a senior as well, Anne Marie Winters a senior, but coming back are Kennedy McQueen, who last year as a, a freshman against Rich, hit three three-pointers, two for two from the free throw line, finished with 11 points. And this year, Kennedy McQueen as a sophomore is leading her team in scoring at 20.2 points per game. A quick, great shooter, and uh, boy, the Rebels will have to be ready and aware of where she is at all times. Now, Hunter Vernon is another one of the players that probably would have been one of the leading scorers for this North Summit Braves team, as she's helped lead her volleyball team to two consecutive state championships for North Summit. But Vernon injured her knee late in the volleyball season or midway through the volleyball season. She nursed it, dealt with the injury, helped the team to the title, and then had it looked at early in this basketball season, thought it was something that could be fixed easily. Coach Jerry Holmes told me it was a little more severe than they thought it was going to be, and she is out and finished with her high school basketball career. So that's unfortunate for Hunter, and we wish her the best in everything else that she does. She will not be playing tonight for North Summit. Now, I mentioned four consecutive wins for the Braves, but looking back over the history of this matchup between Rich and North Summit, the Rebels had won 11 in a row from 2005-06 through 2012-13, including a, a thriller in double overtime in the 2012-13 season. But again, the Braves have won four consecutive against Rich the last four years. And of course, these teams go back and forth, home and home. Last year was at North Summit. This year, here tonight at Rich High School. That's your scene set here tonight, brought to you by Lazy S Ranching, encouraging you to eat more beef and cheer on the Rebels. If you're watching online at mylocalradio.com, a tight game in the JV matchup. Rebels were on top, I believe it was 24-13 at the half. North Summit came roaring back, and it's been tight ever since with 5.09 left to go in the fourth quarter. Rebels are on top by two and have the basketball. When we return and talk with our standout student, we'll have a scoreboard up there for you so you can see how things, uh, keep track of how things going as you listen to Porter Weston, a senior at Rich High School. We'll talk with him on our standout student when we come back on the Comprehensive Family Dental pregame show on this presentation of Rebel Basketball here on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. When it comes to hard things in life, don't say, why me? Just say, try me. Remember, it's the tough things that make us the strongest. The cattle ranchers at Laziest Ranching are proud supporters of the youth in our community. Sim, Joe Jean, Carol, and Millie Weston, along with Sim Jr. and Maggie, remind everyone to eat more beef and cheer on the Rich Rebels. That's right, eat more beef and cheer on the Rich Rebels. Founded in 1997, the Mountain Valley Cattle Company in Thatcher, Idaho, serves Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming, and is proud to sponsor the students and staff at Rich High School. The Mountain Valley Cattle Company is established on the foundation of hard work, commitment, and perseverance, knowing that every individual on the team must give their best for the team to succeed. The same principles that students and athletes at Rich High School are learning today that will help them lead tomorrow. The Mountain Valley Cattle Company, 208-339-0614. Welcome back to the Rebel Free Game Show presented by Comprehensive Family Dental, providing quality family dentistry since 1998 and with offices 
Justin Randolph and Hiram Utah. They're there for your convenience. Today, Rich faces the North Summit Braves. Both these teams come in at 5-5, five and five, but both in their respective classes, getting respect from the rest of the state. Both, I believe, ranked fourth in the most recent Deseret News rankings. Rebels maybe have uh, dipped down to number to fifth, but either way, both these teams among the top in their classifications, at least considered by folks around the state. Uh, both come in at five and five. Rich is at home, looking to improve to six and five, ahead of next week's conference or region opener against uh, inter out Intermountain Christian. Stay tuned. You're tuned into the Comprehensive Family pregame show, Comprehensive Family Dental. And uh, we've got your standout student. When we return, we'll talk with Porter Weston on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com. Ryan Steinecker with senior Porter Weston at Rich. Serving Wyoming since 1941, Plains Tire is Wyoming's oldest and largest tire dealer with great locations throughout the state. They'll get you the right tires and offer the best results for your vehicle at the lowest prices guaranteed. Plus, you can go to any Plains Tire Pro dealer with their nationwide warranty service and check out their Plains Tire phone app. Come down and see us at Plains Tires on 157 Bear River Drive for all your automotive needs. Hablamos también español. Ryan Steinekert with Senior Porter Weston at Rich High School. Porter, thanks for your time today. Yeah, no problem. How's your senior year? It's going good so far. Uh, it's flying by pretty fast. I'm kind of surprised at how quickly it's going by. I noticed one of your uh, senior classmates was wearing a 2018% done. Are you 100% done, 2018% done, or you wish it would slow down a little bit? Um, at times, I wish I would sl it would slow down, like with sports, but then, you know, you get in the classroom and you kind of, you're pretty done. And I'm excited to move on and excited for you know the next chapters of my life what do you think the next chapters will bring what do you got planned after graduation um after graduation i've been thinking about you know serving a mission and i also i got a scholarship to suu so i'm going to go to school there and probably looking at a business degree of some kind um, from suu so those are my plans right now how'd you get the scholarship um, I applied for a thing called GHA, and I got accepted to that. So then I got a full tuition scholarship to SUU, so I'm pretty excited about that. Governor's Honors Academy. That was a great, I went there, and I was a counselor a couple years. Oh, cool. Yeah, I loved GHA. It was really fun. I might be a counselor. I thought it was really fun. I enjoyed it. So you're going to join uh, Big Sis down in Cedar City? Yeah, she went to GHA, too, and uh, she's the one that actually got me to apply. So I'm going down to Cedar City, you know, far away. Uh, should be be a nice change i think you mentioned a mission if you could pick a spot to go where would you pick i don't know if i'd want to learn a language uh i'd kind of want to stay in the states but i also kind of want to go somewhere exotic maybe europe english speaking i don't know something like that i don't know if you've said that to anybody else but i think you just cursed yourself you're gonna go somewhere foreign language uh probably now that i said that Porter, your senior year, obviously, you played football. Team had some ups and lots of downs as far as the record wasn't great. But how did you feel like the season went for you personally? Uh, personally, it was just, you know, my one last hurrah as a Rebel. Uh, it was fun to be out on the field. Hadn't played with some of those guys in a while because, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to play varsity for a few years. So it was fun to get back together with the classmates and, you know, one last time in the Rebel uniform. I had a fun time, you know. We didn't have the best season, but I enjoyed it. How do you feel like basketball is going? I think it's going great. Uh, we haven't played together for a while, you know, because some kids have played up and some have stayed with JV. And everyone's kind of finding their rhythm, playing together again. You know, it's coming together, and uh, we're going to be tough to beat. I think everyone's finding their place on the team, and everyone can score, and I think we're going to be a great team. A lot of different weapons and maybe the best defensive team defense that I've seen since I've been here. Yeah, we really get after it on defense. And, you know, we have some size inside and some size at the guards. So we can match up with teams and make it tough for them to score on us. Porter, are you taking any college classes working toward an associate's? I'm not working towards an associate's, but I'll graduate with about, you know, 32 credits. So almost a year of college. Yeah, it's been going good. They're pretty tough, but, you know, nothing an average student can't handle. I know you've, uh, I don't know if it's just recently, but at least the last couple of years, you've really developed into uh, quite the actor. You doing the musical this year? Yeah, I'm doing the musical this year. I'm going to be Gaston all four nights that we do it. So pretty excited for that. It's going good. Everyone's getting their lines down, getting the songs down. And uh, once we get the choreography and dances, you know, it's going to be a good show. 
I'm, I'm sure you've watched the cartoon and the live action Beauty and the Beast. Are you trying to like pattern your character after either of those Gastons? Are you putting your own flair on it? What's your plan? Well, they're both a lot more muscular than I am, so maybe I should hit the gym and bulk up a little bit, but I'm kind of copying their attitude. You know, they're very sure of themselves, and I'm also trying to put my own porter spin on it to give the audience something unique. Anything else you're involved with at Rich High School? Uh, I did track, and I throw shot put and discus and that. Um, I got sixth in shot put last year at state, and maybe this year, you know, I can get top five, get a medal. Is that an athletic goal you have for yourself this year, top five in shot? Yeah, you know, I PR'd by two feet at state last year. I kind of figured it out there at the end, so I'm looking forward to this year to throw some shot put and top five at state. Anything you like to do? Any hobbies outside of school? You know, outside of school, I've been getting into some carpentry, and I like to fish. I go fishing a lot, outdoor stuff, you know, camping. I'm into that. Any academic goals for your senior year? I have a 4.0 right now, and, you know, I'm trying hard to keep it, but I'm taking some tough college classes, some tough math classes. Uh, better to get them out of the way now, I think, but I don't, I'm trying to keep the 4.0, but even if I don't, you know, I'm going to have a pretty good GPA. So, Lastly, then, what's your favorite thing about being a rich rebel? Favorite thing about being a rich rebel is probably the close-knit friendships that I have. I'm friends with, uh, you know, all the boys in my class and most of the young, younger classmen. Uh, you get to know everybody really well, and you have a lot of friends. Porter Weston, senior at Rich High School. Thanks for your time. Good luck with uh, basketball, with the, the show, break a leg, and uh, the rest of your senior year. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Well, this JV game is physical. It's intense. The fans are into it. And uh, North Summit leads by four with 2.17 left to go. Thank you so much, Porter, for that interview. You're tuned into the Comprehensive Family Dental pregame show. Next up, we'll visit with the bench leaders of today's teams in the Cody Lundgren Coaches Show. Varsity game scheduled to start in 10 minutes, but I think it'll start a few minutes late. JV game has 2 minutes, 17 seconds left to go, plus they'll give the varsity teams a few minutes to warm up. You're tuned into the Rich Rebel Basketball pregame show on Rebel Radio, KDQ FM 98.3, live streaming video online at mylocalradio.com. We sell fun. Come see and feel the fun when you shop at Cash Rondi Yamaha in Cash Valley. You and your family will have fun year-round in the water with personal watercraft, in nature, driving your side-by-side -side or riding your four-wheeler, or in the mountains on your snow machine. It's always fun at Cash Rondi Yamaha, no matter what the season is. Our showroom is full of inventory to choose from. Start having more fun today. Visit Cash Rondi Yamaha between Logan and Smithfield on Highway 91. We sell fun. Randolph is located near the geographic center of Rich County, Utah, on a high plateau with an average elevation of 6,300 feet. The first group of settlers, led by Randolph H. Stewart, camped on a knoll south of the present town site on March 14, 1870. Randolph is a town of extremes, from 90 degrees in the summer to minus 40 in the winter. The folks who live here are also extreme, extremely loyal, extremely friendly, and extremely supportive of our youth. Good luck to all the rich rebels this year from everyone at the town of Randolph. Seventeen left in the JV game. Johnson, or no, that was uh, Erickson with a three-point shot attempt. No good. Johnson offensive rebound for Rich, and she's fouled. And boy, that's about how it's been in this second half of the JV game. They uh, both teams uh, with a couple players who have fouled out. I guess Ali, it was just one for Rich, one for North Summit. Allie Wallentine fouled out for Rich, and uh, Tisha Richens, a sophomore, fouled out for North Summit. But this has been an intense and physical battle in the JV game. And we're going to give you some bonus JV coverage here for the next couple of minutes. Uh, as Fallon Johnson is at the free throw line for Rich. Missed the first free throw. 2.10 left to go. Rebels down by four. Johnson hits the second. And North Summit will inbound against some full court pressure from Rich. But maybe a lapse, whatever it was. North Summit breaks it easily all the way to the hoop with the right hand on the left side. And Jessica Herschel, I believe who that was, makes the layup. Rebels go the other way. Hatch hits the, or pay, yeah, Hatch hits the shot and she's fouled. North Summit Braves fans don't like the call, but Hatch can tie it up. Not quite. 37-32, add the two points for the shot. Shouldn't it be 34? Hatch a chance for the three point play. That's also five fouls on Gracie Watterson of North Summit, so she's done. That's a second player to foul out for North Summit. A lot of fouls in this game. 
North Summit with 10 plus team fouls and the double bonus. Rebels in the with eight team fouls. And Rich with a chance to climb to within two. 157 left to go in this JV game. Hatches free throw rattles around. No. Fallon Johnson pulls down the rebound and another jump ball. That's quite honestly about the 10th jump ball, maybe more of this second half as these teams both hustling, playing hard, and wanting to win. 37-34, Rebels down by three, timeout on the court, so we'll move along in our comprehensive Family Dental pregame show coverage here on The Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. This is a lady Rebel basketball coach, Cody Lundgren, and you're tuned in to the pregame show on Rebel Radio. Opening tip is less than 20 minutes away on KDQ FM 98.3 with live streaming video at mylocalradio.com. Welcome to the Cody Lundgren Coaches Show on KDQFM 98.3 and mylocalradio.com. It's the Rebels and the North Summit Braves tonight. It's been a little while since the Rebels took the court. Thursday, December 21st was the last time Rich was on the floor. They beat Grace 58-38 at home. Tonight, it's a matchup of five and five teams who are both in the top five in their respective classifications. No one sees the game the way the coaches do, so we'll take a few minutes to visit with opposing coach, former Rebel Jerry Holmes, and then we'll talk to Rebel headman Cody Lundgren and get his thoughts on tonight. Game. We'll be right back with more of Rich Rebel Basketball on KDQ FM 98.3 with live streaming video online at mylocalradio.com. All right, let's keep it right here for the next minute or two as uh, there's a minute 40 seconds left to go, a Rebel foul. Jordan Erickson in a little too tight defensively against uh, Adrienne Rouser, a sophomore for North Summit. With these teams playing hard and we'll get to varsity action in a few minutes. The game was slated to start at 7 o'clock, but this JV game has gone a bit long. In the freshman game, North Summit 144 to 28. Rebel JV team was on top, I believe it was 24-13 at the half. I may be off a point or two there, but uh, the Rebels have struggled to score in the second half. North Summit's put on a full court press, forced a bunch of turnovers, and, uh, and Rich has struggled to find the bottom of the hoop. Free throws. Well, one for one, or one and one. The first one missed, and a wrap-up on the rebound between Fallon Johnson and Alyssa Richens from North Summit. Possession arrow after the jump ball will give it to Rich. North Summit drops back, and I, I've been saying a, a full-court uh, press. It's really more of a half-court trap. The Rebels bring it up partially, get to about the timelines, pass it across. Tingy goes down toward the corner and overthrows it, and that's been a problem. And just about every time they've gone down to that corner, North Summit either traps and takes it away or the Rebels throw it away, as they just did. 37-34, Rich down by three with a minute 27 left to go. Rich needs to force a turnover or foul here. There's nine team fouls, so their they're one and one is uh, passed. North Summit will get two free throws the rest of the way. Fake the shot, drive, missed offensive rebound for North Summit. Put back is no, but a foul. Brinley Richens, the freshman. Earns a trip to the free throw line. No, that's not Richens. That's Fiona Simister, a freshman. And she heads to the free throw line with a minute nine left to go. The foul charged to the Rebels, Fallon Johnson. And that's Fallon's third personal. So both teams in the double bonus. 109 left in the fourth quarter of this JV game. Free throw up off the front of the rim to the glass off the left side and out. No good for Simister. She'll have one more free throw. Try to put her team up by two scores. 109. Left to go in this JV action. Rebound uh, as the shot went off the back of the rim. Another jump ball. And the wrap up with Alyssa Richens and Taylor Tingey and possession arrow this time. We'll keep it on that end for North Summit. In the purples, Rebels in the home whites. That's what we'll see in the varsity game as well. Inbound underneath, a shot is up and good. And Alyssa Richens fights through the defense. Fallon Johnson doesn't like the call. Looked like she had her arms straight up, may have pushed into her with the body. And the foul came, the shot was good, the foul and the finish. And Alyssa Richens can put North Summit up by six and does, it rattles home. Johnson inbounds to Staple. Up the right side, dribbles toward the middle, going for the steal and missing was Rouser, but then the Rebels up court lose it and Staple gets a little trap of the ball while she's on the floor. Called the kick and it'll go back to North Summit with 55.2 to go. Coach Calder here for the Rebels, calling for her team, or his team to press, maybe get a foul. Staple reaches in, 
And there's the foul, 52.7 seconds left to go. North Summit up by six. And Kennedy Garfield will go to the free throw line. The sophomore will shoot two. North Summit and Rich tonight. Last time the Rebels were on the court, December 21st, a win over Grace. Last time North Summit took the court, they earned a win over Carbon, 56-46. That was, uh, I believe, at home, December 29th. Two free throws up and in for Garfield, and the Rebels trail by eight. North Summit hitting free throws, forcing turnovers down the stretch. Rebels work it quickly around the arc. Tingy tries to go back across the top to Staple. Ball is taken away. Tingy ends up on the floor trying to get it back. Meanwhile, North Summit goes to the other end. Richens hits, and she's fouled. And Richens will have another chance for a three-point play that would extend the lead up to 11 if she can hit the free throw. Foul charged to the Rebels' Jordan Erickson, her third. Allie Wallentown fouled out earlier, and McKenna Stacy went down pretty hard, was slow to get up on a, on a physical foul earlier in the game. Free throw is good. North Summit leads by 11. Staple across the timeline against the continued half-court trap despite less than 30 seconds to go. Fallon Johnson shoots, misses. Offensive board for Erickson, and she's fouled on the rebound. So she'll get two free throws as North Summit's in the double bonus on fouls both teams. 22 seconds left to go, and Rich needs a miracle. Again, this is JV action. The Rebels trail North Summit by 11. Jordan Erickson at the line. A couple of dribbles, the shot up and too strong, back of the rim and pops back out in front, no good. Erickson toes the line, and the two dribbles, quick spin, shot, and second one is good, nothing but net. Rebels down by 10 with 22 seconds to go. Inbound to Garfield, Rebels full court press. Braves, Rouser up ahead looking for Simister, throws it away. Simister cut toward Rouser right as she threw it toward the corner and it sails long and out of bounds with 12.8 seconds left to go. Tingy receives the inbound pass, gets to Staple, still the half court trap with a 10 point lead and 10 seconds or less to go. Erickson pulls up and shoots, misses, hatch the offensive rebound, probably got away with an over the back and then Staple hits at the buzzer. To give us a final score, North Summit 45, Rebels 37. So North Summit so far tonight, a win in the freshman game and a win in the JV game. Again, final score in JV 45-37, Braves with the win. We'll move along in our pregame coverage of Rich Rebel Basketball coming up on the Comprehensive Family Dental pregame show. We'll visit with the coaches, Cody Lundgren and Coach Jerry Holmes when we return on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. If you're looking for live local sports, local news, weather, live classifieds, and free photo downloads, search no more. MyLocalRadio.com has what you want. Watch your teams live or browse the tens of thousands of photographs of Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho high school events from speech and drama competitions, rodeo, an array of different athletics, activities, community events, and so much more. Visit MyLocalRadio.com today and find what you're looking for. Coverage of Rich High School Sports is also being made possible by Delmas Equipment. Repairing equipment for over 20 years, farming equipment assembly and custom fabrication. The Thompson Ranch. Brian and Becky Thompson, promoting student learning and success in all areas. And Western Ag Credit, reliable credit for all things agriculture. Ryan Steinecker with Jerry Holmes, head coach of the North Summit Braves. Coach, thanks for your time tonight. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Your team comes in, uh, what, I think 5-5, five and five, but you're ranked in the top five in two-way. Does that mean anything where you're at 5-5? Five and five? Do you feel like the season's going well so far? Yeah, I do. We, we've had a good preseason schedule, a lot of bigger schools, and that we intended to, to play a tough schedule. And, and yet, we feel like we could have or should have won a couple of those games, and but it's it's been good for us. We're young. We don't have a senior playing anymore, and and so we're we're young and need that experience. So I feel good about our progress right now. 
you've obviously got some good athletes. Two state championships in volleyball in a row. How many of those girls contribute and help you out on the on the basketball court? Uh, of our starters, uh, three uh, have have been volleyball players, and and obviously it's a different skill set. And but when you compete and you get a taste of victory, that helps you for that next sport. And so we're counting on that. And and. We, we have some girls that are working hard and, and have some skill, so we're, we're excited. You've uh, you got the, the five losses on the season, but it looked like at scores, looking at scores, you've been close in those games. Well, we lost to Morgan in overtime, and that was a heartbreaker. They're our neighbors, and you hate to lose to your neighbor. And We beat them last year in overtime, so I guess it was their turn to get us back. But we've been in games that we needed to be in, and, and that's why we play that schedule. So when... When the pressure's on down the stretch, you've already been there. So that's what we're trying to give these kids is that experience. Who do you bring back from last year with varsity experience? Kennedy McQueen is our leader as far as scoring goes. Uh, she's a sophomore and played a lot as a freshman, came off the bench. And Brecklin Murdoch played a lot for us off the bench as well. We started four seniors and a junior, and the junior that we started isn't with us. Well, she's here, but she's nursing a bad knee so we don't get her back this year but those two have, have come with the experience and and the other three four and then our fourth and or six and seven that come off the bench come in with no varsity experience and yet they're they're progressing right where we need them to now if rich were to start looking at scores they might get pretty concerned about you guys and and like what you did to tabiona a couple of weeks ago do you feel like your team's playing well at times we, we've struggled in the third quarter in all but one game, and, and that's, not, that's not a good sign, but it, it's, a, it's something that we know we need to work on. But basketball is such a funny game. We beat Tabion. I don't even remember how far, but we could have played them maybe the next night, and they might have beaten us or we'd have barely beaten them. Uh, I, I try not to get too wrapped up into scores because basketball is so fickle. Coach, uh, you've had the Rebels number for the last four years. North Summit has beat Rich four years in a row, I mean, and it's gone back and forth. It's been a great rivalry. What do you think you need to do to keep that streak going tonight? Well, we know we've got to work harder than than we have for four quarters. Um. Well, I apologize on that interview. It got cut off toward the end. Coach Holmes said they need to work harder than the Rebels do. They, he feels like his team needs to set the tone. And if they can't set the tone, match the tone and the intensity, the physicality of the Rebels. He also mentioned how much he enjoys coming back to Rich and uh, the community, seeing all of those good friends and, and great folks here in Rich County. Thanks, Coach Holmes, for that interview. We're about six minutes away from opening tip in today's action. We'll hear from Coach Lundgren when we return on the wildlife at mylocalradio.com. Light up your world with a custom-built LED sign from Rocky Mountain Sign in Evanston. It's a proven fact that signage that lights up creates more attention. So light it up and then add text, images, and video, and your sign becomes even more powerful. Start sharing your advertising messages and information with your customers today. The team at Rocky Mountain Sign provides all types of quality signage that is custom-built and maintained. Call today for a free quote. Rocky Mountain Sign, 307-789-5202. Rocky Mountain Sign, serving customers in Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho. The best family vacations create lifelong memories. The Wind River Hotel and Casino in Riverton, Wyoming has teamed up with the Riverton Golf and Country Club to bring you great golf getaway packages for the whole family. Come for a couple of days, golf, eat, relax, tour the Wind River Indian Reservation and enjoy the Native American tribal dancers. Pet rooms are available so you can bring the whole family and stay. Call today the Wind River Hotel and Casino where families play, stay, win. 866-657-1604. Ryan Steinecker with Cody Lundgren of the Rich Rebel Girls basketball team. Cody, thanks for your time. Hey, uh, thanks for being here, Ryan. Coach, it feels like it's been a, a little while. Not quite two weeks ago, you beat Grace at home. How would you feel about that game? Uh, you know, that was a great game. That was a great night for our program, actually. We had a real close game in uh, JV, and we came out victorious in there. And then our girls came out and just fired off hard against the varsity team. And, you know, I was just proud of how they played. You had a, a, a good performance, and I thought, especially defensively, they it seemed like there was only one or two girls that really had any success offensively against you. Yeah, you know, they had a freshman there that, you know, scored 20 on us that we had a tough time defending, but we played a man defense the whole night, and we did a good job in it, so I was proud of the girls. 
they came into that game, I think, allowing only 35 points per game or something real low, and you guys went off offensively. What was it that made you so effective in that one? We tried to space that zone out and make a move a little bit. We got the ball moving, and we got to the paint on their zone and got to the backside and makes for uh, nice open set shots when you can do those types of things. So I was proud of the girls and the patience they had in our offense and the patience they had to get to the paint. They, you know, they, they've they worked hard on it all year, and it's starting to come together for them a little bit. It's probably that I just noticed it, but I thought that your passing was as crisp as I've ever seen it in that game. Yeah, you know, we've, we've been working that a lot, and when you can spread out and get the zone moving and get the ball moving like that, it, it, it's, it makes for good looks. So, What about this week? you got a full week of practice and then North Summit coming to town on Saturday? Yeah, we'll get three nights of practice in this week, and then we have North Summit playing us on Saturday. They've been real solid. These girls played them in volleyball, and you've played them in basketball the last few years. Uh, what, what do you know about them this year? That's a solid program. You know, Coach Holmes does a good job. He, he runs good stuff. He has great athletes. They got a sophomore there that's averaging 20 points a game right now, and then they've got girls around her that are going for six and seven points respectively. So it's a good, solid team. What do you need to do against them? You know, we're just going to focus on getting better, and we're just going to run normal stuff. We're not going to prepare for them at all because I, I don't have any film on them. I just know numbers. So we're just going to work on getting better as a program, and hopefully we can give them a good game on Saturday night. How did the, the week off go and, and having just a little bit of practice last week, what did you see from the girls in practice? You know, it was still a pretty focused practice. They worked hard and uh, they came and they got better in those two days on the Christmas break. So I was proud of the ones that came. Did you get to do anything fun for Christmas, Coach? I got to spend some extra time with family, which is always nice. Good times. Anything else we should touch on? No, thanks for being here, Ryan. Cody Lundgren of the Rich Rebels, thanks so much for your time and uh, good luck this Saturday against North Summit. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Coach. We're just a couple of minutes away from tip-off in today's action. You're tuned into the Comprehensive Family Dental pregame show. And when we return, we'll have your starting lineups, keys of the game, and the Independent Software Solutions opening tip-off on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. Hi there. Craig Dearden with Castle Rock Chevrolet right here in Evanston. Of course, it's about finding you that perfect vehicle, but at Castle Rock, it's about a lot more. It's using our experience to get you the best rate. We will get you the vehicle that you've always wanted. It's about knowing your vehicle is in the right hands. Throughout the buying experience here at Castle Rock Chevrolet, we're here for you. If you're ready to buy a new truck, come to Castle Rock. Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. We're a different kind of dealer. Woodruff, Utah has a long pioneer history with a post office that has been in operation since 1872. Woodruff was named after Wilford Woodruff, the fourth president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and is home to the Woodruff Steakhouse, a former Latter-day Saint office building that is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Our rich pioneer heritage is reflected in all our students by their hard work and commitment to excellence in the classroom and in their sports. When your teeth and gums are healthy, you feel better. Great smelling breath and a shiny smile can improve your self-esteem and confidence. For over 18 years, Dr. Sean Grohl has been helping families and individuals with all their dental needs. With dental offices in Randolph and Hiram, Utah, scheduling your appointment is easy. For all your family dental care needs, work with the best. Dr. Sean Grohl and the professional team at Comprehensive Family Dental. Call today to schedule your appointment, 793-2210. If you're looking for live local sports, local news, weather, live classifieds, and free photo downloads, search no more. MyLocalRadio.com has what you want. Watch your teams live or browse the tens of thousands of photographs of Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho high school events from speech and drama competitions, rodeo, an array of different athletics, activities, community events, and so much more. Visit MyLocalRadio.com today and find what you're looking for. been tuned into the Comprehensive Family Dental pregame show, providing quality family dentistry since 1998. That's Comprehensive Family Dental and Dr. Sean Grohl. 
Real quickly, your starting lineups and keys of the game. Keys of the game are brought to you by Rich County, Rebels with a championship cause. Number one is start strong. So far this season, when the Rebels win the first quarter, outscore their opponent, they're 4-0. When they lose the first quarter, 1-5. Number two is pick up the pace. The Rebels have got to pick up the pace. Got to be fast, play quick, and uh, is that, do we need a little extension cord? Yeah. Um, and lastly is McQueen of the Castle. The Rebels have to be aware of Kennedy McQueen, where she's at and what she's doing at all times. She's averaging 20 points per game. Uh, front pocket, and I think the top front just down in. Sorry, we're trying to find an extension cord for the visiting camera operator. And uh, we'll get that figured out here in just a second. Those are your keys of the game brought to you by Rich County. Rebels with a championship cause. Tar starting lineups are brought to you by the town of Woodruff. And that's uh, Mayor Scott Sabe, Council Members Millie Bradshaw, Raymond Franson, Kent Stewart, Jason Peterson, and Secretary Lisa Bell. For the visiting South North Summit Braves, Grace Crystal, Brecklin Murdoch, Kennedy McQueen, Hannah Lehman, and Kyrie Langston. And again, you see Kennedy McQueen at 20 points per game. For the, the home team, Rich Rebels, seniors, Kiara Grohl, Julia Hopkin, Amber Smith, Kaylee Cornea, and junior Lauren Thompson. The Rebels led by Kiara Grohl, 16 points per game. Those are your starting lineups brought to you by the town of Woodruff. Time for your independent software solutions opening tip-off. And it'll be Julia Hopkin against, is that Hannah Lehman? No, can't see the number. Brecklin Murdoch for North Summit, and Hopkin gets up there quick, tips it over to Kiara Grohl, and Rich starts with it. Grohl goes all the way to the hoop and lays it in with the right hand. Rich on top, two to nothing on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. The quickness of Kiara Grohl, she gets by the defense and scores. Up at top, Kennedy McQueen, who looks to me like she's grown in a few inches since what I remember last year. Out on the right side, Grace Crystal on the wing. Rebels in the home whites. Braves in the road blues. Here's McQueen for three, a high arcing shot. No good offensive board for Murdoch and the Braves, but her putback is short and Lauren Thompson pulls it in for Rich. Thompson all the way, coast to coast, then dishes off to Smith just after a whistle and a foul. And Rich will inbound from the baseline. The Circle H Landing Cattle Company inbound play. Circle H Landing Cattle Company proud to support the Rich Rebels Kennedy McQueen with the fur the foul Rebels inbound safely and get it up top to Thompson Lauren finds a little lane drives down in passes off to Cornea who misses short and McQueen has the rebound Kennedy goes coast to coast high off the glass a little too strong offensive board for Brecklin Murdoch and her putback is short but she's fouled and will go to the free throw line two nothing Rebels on top on the Stacy's Repair Scoreboard, Lauren Thompson with the foul. Our pregame show was brought to you by Comprehensive Family Dental and our uh, opening tip-off by Independent Software Solutions for all your business computer needs. Visit iss-providers.com. First free throw, no short. Second one short, but finds its way home. And the Braves are on the board. Rebels lead 2-1 to one on the Stacy's Repair Scoreboard. Up to the left wing, Kiara Grohl goes inside, finds Hopkin who turns and travels. Trying to put the ball on the floor. It didn't get out of her hands quickly enough and Rich turns it over for the first time in the game. First quarter action is brought to you by Pugstone Sporting Goods. Winter, summer, spring or fall, Pugstone's has it all. The Bear Lake All Sporting Goods shop. McQueen across the timeline, gives it away. She looked to pass, no passing lanes were open. She had to throw it to avoid a travel. And Cornea comes away with the station in Randolph Steele. Kaylee goes down inside, ball knocked out of her hands, but Kiara Grohl is there. She'll kick it up top left wing to Hopkin, back to Kiara, right side, drives in, gets by the D, strong move to push it up through the defense. Can't get the shot to go, but Kyrie Langston, I believe, is the guilty party. A foul on Langston, the junior picks up her first, and Kiara Grohl is at the free throw line to shoot two. Couple Bear Lake Realty free throws coming up. First of the ball game for Rich. First one back of the rim to the front, pops out, no good. Rebels, uh, based on uh, their returning points from when these teams played last year at North Summit as Grohl misses the second free throw as well. Smith fights for the rebound but can't get it. Kennedy McQueen comes away with it. Quickly up court and a travel for Kyrie Langston as Cornea came over to help on the defense and forced Langston to do something she wasn't planning on doing, which was a travel. Rebels quickly up court to Cornea. 
Rebels return 18 points from last year's matchup between these two teams. Kiara scored 12 in that one. Rich gives it away, up court, losing it out of bounds. Kiara may have gotten away with a foul. North Summit Braves fans certainly wanted that, but Rich and North Summit exchanged turnovers, and Lauren Thompson will inbound. I was saying that uh, Kiara scored 12 against North Summit last year. Julia had two. Amber scored four. The only player for the Braves to score last year against Rich that is playing tonight, Kennedy McQueen, had 11. Three three-pointers off the bench, plus a couple of free throws. Smith at the free throw line, gives back to Grohl. Kiara tries to drive, then bounces for, for Cornea. She's wrapped up from behind. No foul, she gets away to Smith. Shot up off target, fight for the rebound. Comes down to Langston of the Braves. Quickly up court, Kennedy McQueen, left wing, follows the screen into the lane. May have gotten away with a travel, puts it up off the glass, right side, or a carry rather. Couldn't get the shot to fall. Here's a fight for the rebound. Kiara comes away with it. Pass across the lane to Hopkin, quickly to Smith. Shot up short, but she's fouled. And Smith heads to the free throw line. Foul charged to Brecklin Murdoch. Her first personal foul. Three team fouls on the Braves. Rebels with one team foul. 5.35 left. First quarter brought to you by Pugstone Sporting Goods. Winter, summer, spring, or fall. Pugstones has it all. Free th er, uh, first free throw at the Bear Lake Realty free throw line for Amber Smith. Off target to the right. Rebels this season just 45% from the free throw line. And Amber Smith... 2 of 11, including that miss. Rich has got to improve from the Bear Lake Realty free throw line. Smith hits the second, as if to say, we're working on it, Steiny. 7, or 5.33 left to go in the first, and North Summit turns it over. A long pass, not controlled by Hadley Richens, I believe, who just checked in. She's a freshman, but averages 3.5 points off the bench. That's four turnovers for the Braves here in this first quarter. Cornea on the right wing, man-to-man -man defense for the Braves. Dribbles into some trouble, but gets it away to Grohl. Kiera finds a lane, bounces over to Smith, fakes the shot, gets past the D, then kicks it back out. Free throw line jumper Kiera is a bit long, and the defensive board for Grace Crystal. North Summit pushing the other way. High dribble by Richens, but controls it with 5.02 left to go. Things slow down a little bit for North Summit. They work it around. Crystal on the left wing, wanted the three, but Hopkin quick close out to deny and then the Braves go down inside Brecklin Murdoch finishes may have been fouled but no whistle and we're tied at three on the Stacy's repair scoreboard Kiera right to corner for Cornea Kaylee dribbles up toward the top gives to Thompson Lauren dribbles to her right Hopkin around left corner to Kiera wanted the three but the defense was out on her Smith at the free throw line looks right nothing there to Thompson, back to Cornea. Corn goes into the corner. Hopkin holding there, looking inside, nothing there. North Summit staying in the 2-3, in the two, three, or the man-to-man -man defense. Rebels give it to Julia. She's left open long enough to shoot the three and misses. Rebound over the top to the Braves' Hadley Richens. Quickly down court. Underneath, Langston back up top to Richens. She'll give it uh, again to McQueen, or rather to uh, Murdoch. Then back to McQueen, who... Has a nice little dribble drive, puts it up off the left side and squeezes that ball between the side of the rim and the glass. Gets it up off the glass and in. Five to three, North Summit on top for the first time in the game. Kiera loses it, but then McQueen can't control it on the sideline. It's a dangerous pass and the Rebels lucky to come away with possession. 3.45 left in the Pugstone Sporting Goods first quarter. And North Summit on top, five to three. Grohl, top of the key, guarded by Richens. Kiera fires right corner to Thompson. Lauren faked a move, traveled, and the Rebels turn it over for a third time in the quarter. North Summit with four turnovers, but they've been a little more efficient on their shooting. Richens inbounds to McQueen. She'll turn and dribble up court. Rebels in a man-to-man. -man. Lauren Thompson tasks with guarding McQueen. Kennedy gets to the left side, step back three is a bit long off the back of the iron and Thompson comes away with the rebound for Rich, her second rebound of the game. Kiera up court, loses it. It was knocked away by Richens out of bounds. Coach Lundgren shouting to the team. McKenna Stacy checks in, good to see. She went down hard late in the JV game and sat for about the last four or five minutes of that game. But uh, she's subbing in here and looks fine. Lauren Thompson, 
fires it inside right at the feet of Hopkin. Just a, a tough wraparound pass, and credit North Summit for that difficult or that poor pass. They're just making it difficult. They're putting a lot of pressure out on the ball on the perimeter. McQueen. Rebels have switched to his own defense. McQueen gives, goes, gets it back, dribbles, and Kiera steals it away. A station in Randolph Steele. Grohl goes up court, gives to Thompson to her right. Misses short, but a foul by Grace Crystal. They'll call it a blocking foul. Crystal's block was clean up top, but got Lauren Thompson with the body. Crystal's first personal foul. North Summit's fourth team foul. And Lauren Thompson is at the free throw line. Rebels just one of four so far at the Bear Lake Realty free throw line tonight. Thompson. Dribble spins and misses short right side. One of five for the Rebels at the line in this ball game. Another Bear Lake Realty free throw coming. Rich down by two on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. First quarter brought to you by Pugstone Sporting Goods. Lauren hits the second one. And Thompson has a point. Rebels down by one, five to four. McQueen up court. Kicks it left corner, Crystal for three, way over the top. Offensive board by Richens. She tries the underhanded reverse, misfires, and it's out of bounds off of North Summit. Rebel basketball. Would have been a pretty move by Richens had she connected with that underhanded, over the head reverse layup. Rebels, Hopkin inbounds to Grohl. Kiera dribbles up court. Fires back across to Thompson. Long pass to Stacy in the corner. One dribble, then to Smith at the free throw line. Ball poked free, picked up by the Braves. Up court, pass across the lane. McQueen with the left, with the right hand on the left side misses. Stacy tips the rebound to Kiera. Rebels push up court. Grohl across the lane, gives it away to Lehman. A dangerous pass, and the Braves take it over. McQueen pushes off with the right hand, gets some separation, and puts the shot up and in. Makes it seven to four. And boy, that looked like an offensive foul to me as McQueen threw out the right elbow to push Thompson away and get the shot off. The clock didn't run for a, a few seconds there. And now the official's discussing how much time to remove. It says 242 now, seven to four on the Stacy's repair scoreboard. North Summit with the lead, and this is a Good North Summit team that allows just 43 points per game, and that's against some very good competition. 3A Emory, 4A Preston, Idaho. Is Roy 3A or 4A? Long pass for Kiera underneath to Hopkin. Julia one dribbles, double team, loses it, and the Braves take it over. Elise Richens, or not Elise, but Hadley Richens with the takeaway. Down inside, Murdoch shoots, misses, but she's fouled. And Brecklin Murdoch, who has five already in the game, Heads to the free throw line for two free throws. The foul, Lauren Thompson, and that's her second personal foul, Rebel second team foul. Murdoch went to the free throw line earlier, made one of two. She missed the first, hit the second. This time she hits the first and has a second one coming. Good crowd tonight, Rebel student section across the way. A lot of the Rebel boys basketball team over there. They saw their counterparts who are on the court tonight were there in that same spot last night the last two nights cheering them on in wins over Bear Lake and Westside second free throw too long rebound goes out long the Braves pull it down Murdoch again goes up on an offensive board and misses but she's fouled and the Braves winning the battle of the board so far in this one lead eight to four and Brecklin Murdoch is back at the free throw line for two more this will be her fifth and sixth free throws of the game already Free, uh, the foul charge to Risha Larson, who just checked into the ball game. Murdoch misses the first and has one more coming. She has six points in the ball game. That one rattles out, and Hopkin pulls down a Rebel rebound, her second of the ball game. Rebels trail still eight to four. Hopkin up to the right side, picks up the dribble, bounces left to Kiera. Lob inside, dangerous pass, deflected, and McQueen comes away with the. Steal for the Braves. She'll push up, lob inside for Murdoch. Too far out in front. Murdoch can't pull it in. And the Braves turn it over for a sixth time. 146 left to go in the Pugstone Sporting Goods first quarter. Rebels have managed just four points. They're one of uh, two of six from the free throw line. McKenna Stacy in the corner. Passes toward the middle. Easy takeaway for the Braves. An eighth Rebel turnover the quarter. McQueen again to the hoop. Hits the shot this time and she's fouled. We'll have a chance for the three-point play. The foul. Julia Hopkin, her first personal. 
Rebels were down four to one in the fouls. Now they've tied it up at four apiece in the team fouls. And McQueen's free throw, front of the rim to the glass, down through. It's 11 to four. Rebels were leading three to one. The Braves have gone on a 10 to one run since that point, and the Rebels give it away again. A wild pass, the pressure defense from North Summit giving the Rebels a lot of trouble. Richens for three, air ball over the top, out of bounds. Team rebound for Rich, and Rebels will take over with 113 left to go. Hannah Lehman showing some, maybe a half court trap, a 1-3-1 trap. Rebels fire long to the corner. Hopkin back to Stacy up top. Kiera for three, no, just off the left side. McQueen tips it and saves it to Murdoch. Back to McQueen. Up court, McQueen goes, finds a lane all the way to the hoop, steps through and hits. Good, great move by Kennedy McQueen. Rebels down 13 to four and Rich needs a timeout. Nine turnovers in the first quarter and just under a minute to go in this first period. Brought to you by Pugstone Sporting Goods. Winter, summer, spring or fall, Pugstones has it all. We'll be right back on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com. This is Rebel Senior Kim Nye, and you tuned into Rich Hyatt Hoops on Rebel Radio KDQ FM 98.3 with live streaming video at mylocalradio.com. It doesn't matter what season you visit Bear Lake. Make sure you always stop at Pugstone Sporting Goods. You'll find lots of great quality inventory at low prices, including guns and ammo. During the winter, you can rent cross-country skis, snowshoes, and buy your ski passes to Beaver Mountain. Pugstones is always the best place to get information about the area and purchase your hunting or fishing licenses. Everything you need with one stop at Pugstone Sporting Goods at the four-way stop in Garden City. Welcome back to first quarter action. The Rebels led early, three to one, but it's been an all North Summit since that point. They've gone on a 12 to one run. Part of that, the little part of that is missed free throws. Rich just two of six, but the bigger part is turnovers. Rebels with nine turnovers in the first quarter. And North Summit, they've got their fair share, six, but Rebels have turned it over, I think, on five or six of the last seven possessions. McKenna Stacy to Hopkin in the corner. She's hit twice. Fouled the second time on the shot. They won't give her the basket. It's on the floor. She was fouled as she started the dribble. Hit again as she got closer to the basket. Recklin Murdoch picks up her second personal foul. Rebels with a Circle H Landon Cattle Company inbound play to Kiera in the corner. She'll dribble around into the lane. Ball knocked free. McKenna Stacy picks it up. She's bumped to the floor. And Stacy ends up again with a hard fall. Gracie Watterson with the hip check. Knocks Stacy down. Watterson's first personal. Braves 16 foul. Rebels may get a bunch of free throws in the second quarter as that's it for the free fouls for the Braves. Inbound to Hopkin, back up top. Smith left open. She'll shoot the three off the glass, a bit strong. Fight for the rebound. Richens comes up with it. Bounces ahead to McQueen. Left-handed layup is good. Kennedy McQueen with seven in the first quarter. It's 15 to four Braves. Up ahead, Hopkin bounces to Smith. Looking right, lobs it to the corner. Stacy. Look to get it inside, instead skips it across. Kiera for three, rims around, it just rolled through and missed. Hopkin though, fights and gets the rebound, passes across the lane to Smith, who misses too high and she's fouled. Rich battling, working hard, but boy, the shots from outside are not falling yet. And need to find some free throws and defense. 1.2 seconds left in the first quarter. Brought to you by Pugstone Sporting Goods. Amber Smith. Back at the free throw line, too strong on her first Bear Lake Realty free throw. Has one more coming. Amber just one of two, one of three rather, from the Bear Lake Realty free throw line here in the first quarter. Rich as a team, two of seven with one more coming. Smith, just 1.2 seconds left in this first quarter. We'll see what Smith does. At the line, shoots and misses too long and a fight for the rebound. Oh, but a lane violation, early entry by one of the Braves will give Smith a second free throw opportunity, or third rather, a do-over, if you will. One point, or point six seconds left now. They'll go back to 1.2 on the Stacy's repair scoreboard. Smith's second Bear Lake Realty free throw. 
She crouches down, releases and hits this time. Makes good on the extra opportunity. Long full court shot attempt by Hadley Richens is short. And at the end of one, the Rebels trail 15 to five on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. This first quarter has been brought to you by Pugstone Sporting Goods, your Bear Lake All Sporting Goods shop. Hi there, Craig Dearden with Castle Rock Chevrolet right here in Evanston. Of course, it's about finding you that perfect vehicle, but at Castle Rock, it's about a lot more. It's using our experience to get you the best rate. We will get you the vehicle that you've always wanted. It's about knowing your vehicle is in the right hands. Throughout the buying experience here at Castle Rock Chevrolet, we're here for you. If you're ready to buy a new truck, come to Castle Rock. Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. We're a different kind of dealer. Serving Wyoming since 1941, Plains Tire is Wyoming's oldest and largest tire dealer with great locations throughout the state. They'll get you the right tires and offer the best results for your vehicle at the lowest prices guaranteed. Plus, you can go to any Plains Tire Pro dealer with their nationwide warranty service and check out their Plains Tire phone app. Come down and see us at Plains Tires on 157 Bear River Drive for all your automotive needs. Hablamos también español. Back for second quarter action, brought to you by J-Bar Excavation. And the Rebels with nine turnovers in that first quarter. Give a 15 to five lead. Braves on top. Kennedy McQueen with nine points. Halfway to her average of 20 per game. Rebels, or the Braves with it. They work it around, get the three off, and it's good. Hannah Lehman averages almost five per game. Gets her first three in this one. 18 to five, Braves on top. Rebels have got to find a way to take care of the basketball. McKenna Stacy goes to Cornea. The pass was right at the sideline. Cornea saved it to the Braves. Up court, a travel for Adrian Rouser, Adrienne Rouser, the sophomore. That's a Braves seventh turnover. But boy, they've hit their shots in that first half. Kennedy McQueen, what's that? 40% in the first quarter. I think Rob Lafson running camera, keeping stats. Kiara in the right corner, skips it across to Cornea. Kaylee up top, McKenna fakes the three and then dishes off to Kiara. Right wing three, nothing but net. Kiara Grohl for the T7 Propane in Woodruff three-pointer. First triple of the game for Rich, makes it a 10-point game again, 18 to eight. Braves work it around quick. Cornea deflects it, then it went through the legs, did not hit. Adrienne Rouser, luckily for the Braves, just went right through her legs cleanly to the Rebel student section. They inbound to Grace Crystal, back to Rouser, again to Crystal. Rebels in a zone defense. Rouser, or Crystal rather, left wing, the three pointer, too short off the glass. And Larson pulls down the Rebel rebound. Rich works it quickly up court. They go inside. Cornea, right side, missed the shot, short, but she's fouled. Going back the other end, it was Talisha Larson on the rebound. Rich back to the Bear Lake Realty free throw line where they shot just three of eight in the first quarter. Cornea did not attempt any free throws in that first quarter. Misses to the right side on her first attempt. The foul there was charged to Tisha Richens, her first personal. Braves won in the freshman game, 44-28. Beat the JV team, 45-37. Cornea's second free throw also off to the right. And Kyrie Langston has the Braves rebound. Crystal quickly up court, left corner. The three-point shot is up and in, nothing but net. Again for Hannah Lehman, her second triple of the game. And it's 21 to eight. Rebels work it around to Stacy, and she's fouled as she receives the pass. Adrienne Rouser with her first personal. Braves ninth team foul, so Stacy goes to the line for one and one. Smith checks in, Hopkin out. Smith, along with Stacy, Cornea, Grohl, and Talisha Larson on the floor. It's a one and one at the Bear Lake Realty free throw line for Stacy. Her first, good. Front of the rim to the glass and down through. And earns herself a second. McKenna Stacy averaging seven and a half points per game. That's her first of this one. Spins it, shoots it, and no, it pops out. Big rebound by Tisha Richens, who fouled out in the JV game. Down to the corner. 
They swing it around. Richens tries to pass into the middle. It's deflected by Grohl into the hands of Larson, and Rich takes over on a station in Randolph Steele. Stacy, long pass to Korn. She'll pull up short corner and hit. Fought through the defensive pressure and knocked it down. Rebels back to within 10, 21-11 on the Stacy's repair scoreboard. It's a North Summit team that beat Tabiona just a couple of weeks ago. The final score in that one was 54 to 26. Rebels quickly up court after a North Summit miss. Pass in the lane is picked off. And that's a Rebel 12th turnover. Quickly up court again to Lehman. She passes up on the three, then gets it back. Launches from the left corner, a bit too long. Fight for the rebound out of bounds off of North Summit, but may have been a Rebel foul on the fight. No, just out of bounds off the Braves. Kennedy McQueen will check back in as Rich inbounds from the baseline, trailing by 10 with 524 left in the J-Bar Excavation second quarter. Another pass deflected, but Rich comes up with it fortunately. Stacy right corner to Kiara Grohl for three short, and the rebound pulled in by Grace Crystal. Braves pushing up court to the left corner again to Lehman. This time the defense gets out on her. Rebels in a 2-3 zone, and they're going to leave Lehman open again with that 2-3. Lehman left with plenty of time, but shoots over the top, and Stacy with the Rebel rebound, her first of the game. Kiera up court, passes into the middle, then to Larson in the middle. Her shot is stuffed, but the Braves on the outlet pass throw it away. Hannah Lehman had it go through her hands and out of bounds. It was a high, hot pass, and she just couldn't pull it in. Rebels inbound from the sideline. A Circle H Atlantic Cattle Company inbound play. Looking for a Randolph Country Store adjustment of the game. Plus the Rolling Kennedy at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet play and shot of the game. Kiera, long pass left corner. Cornea drives in, draws the foul. This is badly off the glass as she fought through. Good strong foul. And Cornea goes back to the Bear Lake Realty free throw line. Charge uh, The foul charge to Alyssa Richens. Cornea went 0 for 2 from the line uh, just a moment ago and misses off the front of the iron on this first free throw. Rebels free throw shooting woes continue. Just 1 of 5 in the quarter. Makes it 4 of 13 in the ball game. Cornea's second at the Bear Lake Realty free throw line. Short, she airmailed it. And Rich is 4 of 14 from the Bear Lake Realty free throw line. Pull out the calculator real quick. That's 28%. Three point shot from the corner for North Summit, missed. Cornea fights for the rebound and tips it over to Grohl who can't quite keep it in bounds. Dribbles on the sideline. And after that offensive rebound for, or the defensive rebound for Rich, Braves get it back on a Rebel 13th turnover of the game. 423 left in the first, or first half rather. Grace Crystal thinks about the three. Instead, as the defense got out on her, she passed it up. Braves work it around. Right wing, lob it back to McQueen just outside the free throw line. The jumper too strong, back of the iron. Rebel rebound, and it's Cornea who comes down with it. She'll pass ahead. It's out of bounds. Braves fans say that's off of Rich. The official emphatically says Rebel basketball. Kiera quickly up ahead to Thompson who passes it into the defense and it's taken away. Up court, Thompson bumps Richens. Tisha ends up on the floor and Thompson ends up with her third personal foul. Rebel 15 foul. Hopkin will check in, I assume, yep, for Thompson. It's Hopkin, Cornea, Smith, Stacy, and Grohl on the floor. Rebels trail by 10. Needing to take care of the basketball and get some shots to fall. McQueen at the top of the key. Rebels in a 2-3 zone as they work around the arc. McQueen dribbles to the free throw line, steps through, and that's a good move. The officials will call it a travel, but that she hop-stepped. She is allowed that one step through if she's shooting, and I'm afraid that's a, an incorrect call, but the Rebels are the beneficiaries of it. A turnover for North Summit, and Rich takes the ball. Stacy to Korn, left corner, Hopkin holds, now dribbles into the lane, ball poked away, Hopkin tips it out and McQueen picks it up, she'll go to the hoop, stops and travels again, and she can't believe it again, this time I think it was a travel, she came down on two feet unevenly, 
and then stepped. And that is a travel. The last one I don't think should have been, but that one, yes. 323 left to go in this first half. Grohl in the right corner. Rebels beat the press. Grohl beats the D and drives to the hoop and finishes. Kiera with five in the quarter. And it's 21-13. Rebels have cut it to an eight-point game. McQueen inside, blocked and fouled by Stacy, I believe. No, Kiera Grohl picks up her first. Rebels call a timeout. We'll take a quick one as well with 3.08 left in the J-Bar Excavation second quarter. We'll be right back on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. Whenever you need dirt work, always think of J-Bar Excavation first. The professionals at J-Bar Excavation have all the right equipment and the experience to provide quality work that fits your schedule and your budget. Serving customers for years, the team at J-Bar Excavation understands the area and will work with you to create exactly what you're looking for. Stop in today, J-Bar Excavation, 90 Main Street in Randolph, Utah. Second quarter action. Rebels down 21 13. McQueen receives the inbound pass. Braves go right corner. Grace Crystal way over the top. An air ball on the shot. Richen saves it for North Summit, but saves it into the Rebels. Cornea up across the timeline. Kicks it up top. Hopkin right corner. Kiera one dribble. Back up top to Cornea, and she's hacked by Hadley Richens, who picks up her first personal foul. But that'll send Cornea to the free throw line to shoot two as that's 10 plus team fouls on North Summit. 2.51 left to go in this second quarter, brought to you by J-Bar Excavation, quality work on all kinds of projects. Here's Cornea, front end, or front of the iron, no good. Cornea, 0 for 7 from the, or 0 for 5 rather, from the line. Rebels just 1 of 7 in this second quarter, or in this, uh, yeah, in this second quarter from the free throw line. And, I'll probably harp on it a little too much as we continue to go along, but free throws a real issue tonight for Rich. Four of 15. If they were even 60%, they'd be within about three points. Cornea's second free throw also short. Rebound chased down by Stacy, but she throws it away. McQueen, great anticipation to step in front of the pass, steal it. She goes all the way to the other end, floats it up with the right hand and in. McQueen has 11 points in the ball game. Stacy tries to drive, dribbles it off of McQueen's foot, who ends up on the ground trying to draw a charge. And North Summit fans fired up about no foul called there. They wanted a charge on Stacy. Kiera, top of the key. McQueen comes out. Kiera drives right around her all the way to the basket and puts it up with the left hand. Maybe your play of the game brought to you by Rolene Kennedy at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. McQueen, nice drive, dish off to... Murdoch, who's fouled on the shot, and Murdoch will go back to the line where she's struggled a little bit. Two of six from the free throw line for Brecklin Murdoch, the junior who averages almost six points per game. First free throw is good for McQueen, or excuse me, Murdoch. She has seven points. Stays at seven. Great box out by Amber Smith. And Stacy pulls in the Rebel rebound. 24-15. Rich down by nine. Kiera, top of the key. Back to Stacy. So dribble out back toward the timeline and then give off to Cornea. Braves in a man-to-man -man defense. They've gone back and forth a little bit, but I think we've seen mostly man tonight. Kiera at the top of the key, guarded by Hadley Richens. Passes left side looking for Stacy. Kiera thought Stacy was coming out further, and McKenna stopped just as the pass flew by. Quick substitution, Allie Wallentine, who fouled out of the JV game, checks in for Rich. So it's Wallentine, Smith, Hopkins, Stacy, and Cornea. Lehman up top, Richens back to Lehman. Thought about the three, instead skips it across to McQueen. Quick lob inside for Watterson, who turns, shoots, and misses short, but she's fouled. It's either Hopkin or Smith. They were two defending down there. And the foul will go to Hopkin, her second personal, I believe. Rebel eighth team foul. Watterson, Gracie averages four points per game. And boy, pretty shot. Nothing but net on the free throw. Rebels have struggled from the free throw line. Braves have been a little bit better. Two of four in the quarter. 
Five of 11 in the ball game, almost 50%. Second free throw puts them above 50% as Watterson hits it. And we've got another timeout on the floor. 26-15, Rebels down by 11. And we'll keep it right here at Rich High School. And yeah, the, you, you read my mind. Rob running the camera, Bear Lake Realty fan cam. Our camera tonight is brought to you by Bear Lake Realty. There's uh, Jerry, Coach Jerry Holmes' brother over there. Isn't that uh, Dave? Coach Jerry Holmes started his coaching career, or at least part of his coaching career was here at Rich. Rebel fans, there's Ryland Franson, Rebel graduate a couple of years ago. Rebel fans across the way. It's the Bear Lake Realty fan. Cam, want to congratulate, did I see Isaac Hopkin and soon to be wife, is that, is it Brooke? Soon to be Hopkin over there. Congratulations to the couple, had their reception last night. That's the Bear Lake Realty fan cam for the best in real estate in the Bear Lake area. Visit bearlakerealty.com. 140 left to go. Second quarter brought to you by J Bar Excavation. Kiera across the timeline, fires to Stacy. Across the top, left wing to Smith. Double team comes out. She dribbles once, now is in a little trouble, but gets it away to Cornea on the left wing. Kaylee, one dribble, then Amber at the free throw line. Wrap around, bounce pass. Rebels swing it around, get it to Cornea in the corner. Short corner jumper is short. Stacy with the offensive rebound for Rich is McKenna's fourth rebound of the game. It's poked away out of bounds and Rich has a mount, a uh, Circle H Landon Cattle Company inbound play. Hopkin inbounds to Grohl. Kiera, Cornea, Smith, right corner. Stacy for three. Yes, nothing but net. And it was a three. I thought she may have been just inside, but it's a T7 Propane and Woodruff three-pointer and Rich trails by eight. 26-18. McQueen left side. Rich ins fires inside. Great entry pass and Watterson finishes. Gracie with four points. And North Summit back up by 10. Rich quickly the other way. Inside to Hopkin for the easy two. And Rebels back to within eight. 28-20, 45 seconds to go in the half. McQueen working against Kiera. Dribbles left, steps through, and again, that looked like a travel. I don't think it was. She just hung in the air and put that right foot down, which would have been the second step. Then she shot. But the Rebels, again, the beneficiaries of what I don't think was a travel. Rebels pass up ahead, it's deflected, and Hopkin can't hold on to it, out of bounds. Wallentine will check back in. Kiara Grohl will check out on defense with 35.7 seconds left to go in the half, and the Rich down 28-20. That's the Rebel 15th turnover of the ball game by my tally. McQueen comes up hard, then steps back, misses an air ball on the three. McKenna Stacy with some nice defense. That sophomore against freshman. And a team rebound for the Rich Rebels. Kiera checks back in on the dead ball. Coach getting her in there for offensive purposes. Hopkin in the right corner. Long skip pass to Stacy. She'll shoot the three again from the left wing and hits McKenna Stacy. Nothing but net. Another T7 propane in Woodruff three pointer and Rich is within five. 23 28. McQueen way out high with seven, six. Stacy almost pokes it away from Lehman, dribbles right, fires inside for Murdoch. It's too strong, out of bounds with 1.5. Rich with a Circle H Landing Cattle Company inbound play. Not much time though, and a little half court trap. Inbound to Kiera, dribbles around the D, launches it late and misses wide left. And at the end of two, Rich closes the deficit to five points. 28-23 on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. Second quarter action is brought to you by J-Bar Excavation. Quality work on all kinds of projects. So you're tuned in to the Rebel Basketball Halftime Show coming up. We'll be back with that right after this on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. As the hospital closest to Bear Lake, professional medical care is always available at Bear Lake Memorial Hospital in Montpelier, Idaho. As a full-service hospital, Bear Lake Memorial offers an emergency room that's open 24-7. They treat patients of all ages. Other professional services include physician's clinics, assisted living, home health services, counseling, dialysis, physical, occupational, and speech therapy, orthopedic care, and skilled nursing. Bear Lake Memorial Hospital in Montpelier, Idaho. Count on us to care. Make this winter epic when you rent from Epic Recreation in Garden City, Utah. We rent cabins, snowmobiles, snowcat razors, snow tire bicycles, snowshoes, and more. Thank goodness winter is long because at Bear Lake, we make it epic. Call us today and book your epic adventure at Bear Lake. Recreation and lodging packages available year-round. 
Call Epic Recreation today or book online at epicrecreation.net. When you're buying and selling real estate, you want to work with an agent that knows the area and understands property values. You want to work with an agent that listens to what you're looking for and knows how to find it for you. And it's important to know all of your options. That's why it's smart to work with the best. Gary McKee and the agents at Bear Lake Realty in Garden City, Utah, helping folks buy and sell real estate for over 25 years. When you work with Bear Lake Realty, you're working with the best. Visit BearLakeRealty.com today. Rolene Kennedy of Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet in Evanston is your Rich County representative. The mother of five Rich High graduates and grandmother of three more graduates in the making, Rolene is here for you. She's a recipient of GM's highest salesman honor, the Mark of Excellence Award winner, meaning she provides you with the best customer service in the industry. The next time you're looking for a car or truck, think Rolene Kennedy at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet in Evanston, your Rich County representative. Welcome back to the Halftime Show. 28-23, the Rebels outscored North Summit 18-13 in that third quarter. A big part of it were uh, three T7 propane and wooded three-pointers from Rich, two from McKenna Stacy, and one from Kiara Grohl, who had nine points. Stacy had seven all in the second quarter. And Rich battled back from a 10-point deficit to Climb to within five, 28-23 on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. Rich trailing the North Summit Braves, one of 2A's top teams. You're tuned in online at mylocalradio.com. You're watching the Rebel Drill Team perform one of their numbers. They've got a state drill competition. It's, I believe it's the first weekend of February. February 2nd on a Friday. And I think that's at, uh, in Richfield. So they're preparing for that. They've also got the region drill competition the week before, a couple of weeks before that. Again at the half, the Rebels trail by five, but uh, what a second quarter for Rich after just five points in the first. The Rebels scored 18 in the second. Kennedy McQueen, 11 points. Recklin Murdoch seven, Hannah Lehman, uh, Lehman six, and Gracie Watterson with four. But Rich keeping it close. Again at the half, 28 to 23. We've got some first half highlights brought to you by the town of Randolph. That's coming up during our halftime show. I'm trying to put that off just a little bit as we watch the Rebel Drill team perform here at the half. The uh, Rebels in that first half, just 10 shots from inside the arc. 10 shot attempts and a, pr a part of that was that Rich turned it over 15 times in the first half, but they made half of those, five of 10. They also went three of eight from three point range. The biggest issue, well, two biggest issues in my mind is the turnovers. Again, the 16 turnovers in the first half. Rich also just four of 16 from the free throw line. That's 25%. Uh, if, if you do some quick math, and if Rich shoots even 50% from the line, they're down by only one instead of five. And if the free throw shooting gets better, Rich will be able to keep themselves in it better. North Summit a bit better, 60% from the free throw line, six of 10, and just 15% from three-point range. Rebels within five at the half, 28-23. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more of the, comp the halftime show when we return on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com. You're tuned in to Rich Rebel Sports on KADQ Evanston. Randolph is located near the geographic center of Rich County, Utah, on a high plateau with an average elevation of 6,300 feet. The first group of settlers, led by Randolph H. Stewart, camped on a knoll south of the present town site on March 14, 1870. Randolph is a town of extremes, from 90 degrees in the summer to minus 40 in the winter. The folks who live here are also extreme, extremely loyal, extremely friendly, and extremely supportive of our youth. Good luck to all the Rich Rebels this year from everyone at the town of Randolph. Coverage of Rich High School Sports is also being made possible by Delmas Equipment. Repairing equipment for over 20 years, farming equipment assembly and custom fabrication. The Thompson Ranch, 
Brian and Becky Thompson, promoting student learning and success in all areas. And Western Ag Credit, reliable credit for all things agriculture. Serving Wyoming since 1941, Plains Tire is Wyoming's oldest and largest tire dealer with great locations throughout the state. They'll get you the right tires that offer the best results for your vehicle at the lowest prices guaranteed. Plus, you can go to any Plains Tire Pro dealer with their nationwide warranty service. And check out their Plains Tire phone app. Come down and see us at Plains Tires on 157 Bear River Drive for all your automotive needs. Hablamos también español. Rebel Cheer Squad gets their moment in the spotlight following the Rebel Dance Drill Team performance. At the half, Rebels trail 28-23. And again, the two difficulties the Rebels have had have been on turnovers. 15 turnovers in the first half led to just 18 shots from the floor, but they shot well, 50% from inside two-point range, 38% from beyond the arc. Kiara Grohl had nine points. McKenna Stacy with seven. Rebels have been a bit more balanced than North Summit has, who's been led by Kennedy McQueen and Brecklin Murdoch's 11 and seven points, respectively. Rebels have one, two, three, four, five, six different players who have scored. The other issue that Rich has had is free throws, just 25% on four of 16. They've gotten to the line a lot, but just haven't hit those free throws. Got to do a better job on that in the second half, and we'll see if they can do that. Uh, we'll take a quick break as the Rebels come out of the locker room, get set to warm up and ready for the third quarter. That's coming up in a couple of minutes, so we'll get ready for that to be back right after this on The Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. When it comes to parts and service, don't rely on anyone other than the team at Cash Honda Yamaha in Cash Valley. The professional mechanics and parts department team have the experience to help you with whatever you need. When you need to add a winch, get an extra belt or spark plugs, winterize, repair or replace tires, or have a rebuild, they can help. Whatever you need, gift ideas, parts, accessories, or a great mechanic, you'll find it all at Cash Honda Yamaha in between Logan and Smithfield on Highway 91. Business cards are a powerful and inexpensive way to promote the goods and services you offer. You can design your own cards or have the professionals at Westar Printing design your business cards. Now with same day and next day turnaround on all business card printing, you don't have to wait. Get your business cards today. Professional quality, inexpensive prices, and quick turnaround. Visit Westar Printing, 243 7th Street in Evanston, across from the library. Westar Printing, 307-789-5202. Hi there, Craig Dearden with Castle Rock Chevrolet right here in Evanston. Of course, it's about finding you that perfect vehicle, but at Castle Rock, it's about a lot more. It's using our experience to get you the best rate. We will get you the vehicle that you've always wanted. It's about knowing your vehicle is in the right hands. Throughout the buying experience here at Castle Rock Chevrolet, we're here for you. If you're ready to buy a new truck, come to Castle Rock. Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. We're a different kind of dealer. The best family vacations create lifelong memories. Schedule a family whitewater rafting trip today. Packages include your hotel room, transportation, whitewater rafting, and lunch in a native teepee. The Wind River Canyon is located on the Wind River Indian Reservation in Riverton, Wyoming, and is home to the Northern Arapaho and Eastern Shoshone tribes. Come and enjoy the waves, the breathtaking views of the oldest canyons in Wyoming. Call today the Wind River Hotel and Casino, where families play, stay, win. 866-657-1604. been tuned into the halftime show first half highlights were brought to you by the town of randolph home of the rich rebels good luck from mayor lynn weston board member sim bell brian wires bridget pugmire melanie lim and clerk lana peart our starting lineups of course before the game were brought to you by the town of woodruff and as the teams take the floor it's the rebel starters out there hopkin cornea smith thompson and grohl Thompson with three fouls. We didn't see her much in that second quarter. We're underway. Rebels attacking right to left at mylocalradio.com. Cornea out in the corner. Man-to-man -man defense from North Summit. Thompson back to Corn. Right corner. Thompson to Grohl. Kiara drives. Ball poked away by Lehman. But Hopkin is there. She'll step through and miss with the left hand. Just a little bit strong. Defensive rebound from McQueen. 
and the Braves. She'll push up court. Nice bounce past the feet underneath to Kyrie Langston for the two on the right side. And she finishes. Hopkins, left side, just thought about the three, but passed up as the defense was out on her. Rebels down by seven. Thompson dribbles to the free throw line and kicks it back outside to Grohl. Little hand check from Lehman on the defense. Rebels work it around the arc. Again, North Summit back into a man-to-man -man defense. Kiara in the right corner. Fakes left, goes right, nothing there. Good D by Lehman. Fetch works it back around the arc. Thompson, high pass. Rebels quick passing, try to fire it inside and give it away for a 16th time. Grace Crystal just gets, keeps her foot planted enough, the pivot foot to avoid the travel, and North Summit sets up the offense. McQueen, Rebels in a 2-3 zone defense. Crystal on the right wing. One dribble, bounce inside. They scoop pass to Murdoch. She'll turn in the lane, shoot. Hopkin blocks McQu or Murdoch with the offensive rebound, misses. Hopkin has the defensive rebound, and she, the ball is poked away. McQueen goes back up and misses the shot, and Smith pulls down the rebound for Rich. Thompson across the lane, Cornea through the lane, or through the, on the right side, finishes with the layup, and Rich back to within five. 30 to 25 on the Stacy's repair scoreboard. Underneath, turnaround shot by Langston is off, and on an offensive rebound for North Summit, the Rebels foul. Charge to Kaylee Cornea, puts Brecklin Murdoch back at the line, where she's just three of eight. But she hits that one. And has one more coming. Murdoch with eight points in the ball game. Puts her team back up by six. Will it be seven with 6.03 left in the third? It will. Third quarter is brought to you by Epic Recreation. For all your Bear Lake rental needs, visit epicrecreation.net. Find us on Facebook. Either way, works for Epic Recreation. Hopkin in the left corner. Up top to Thompson, Rebels to the right, double team, and Thompson gets it away to Cornea. North Summit back into his own defense, Corn back up top, Thompson around to Kiera, fakes the three, then dishes off to Hopkin in the left corner, airmailed three-pointer, but McQueen pulls down the rebound for North Summit and dribbles it off her own foot out of bounds. So Rich will get a second chance. Cornea may have gotten away with a little push in the back on McQueen as Kennedy pulled down that rebound and then lost it. Rebel inbound is deflected by the Braves, and Rich is fortunate to get another chance at a Circle H Landing Cattle Company inbound play. As that was a dangerous pass, trying to thread the needle, and there wasn't much of an eye to thread it through. Cornea fires out high. She was looking inside, nothing there. Goes up top to Kiera. Grohl fires back to Cornea in the left corner. Bounce pass, free throw line. Smith, nice move. Shot blocked, but the swat is called a foul. Bricklin Murdoch, I believe, will pick up her third. If that's who they call it, I know. It's against Kyrie Langston, her second personal foul. And Amber Smith at the Bear Lake Realty free throw line, shooting two. First one is good. Amber, three of five from the line tonight. That puts the Rebels at five of 17 in this ball game. If Rich was about 50% or above, we'd have a tie ball game. Smith's second Bear Lake Realty free throw off the right side of the iron. No good. Great uh, box out from Langston, and the Braves have the rebound. Rich down by six. Up to the right corner. Crystal McQueen. They swing it around. Good ball movement. Down inside for Murdoch. Smith contests it. It's on the floor. A diving attempt to get it back, but Crystal comes up with it for North Summit. They pass into the middle. McQueen fights through some defense. The official says clean block. Rebels love that block, and the Braves have it. They go underneath to Murdoch, and she's fouled. Strong move from Brecklin Murdoch, and the junior is fouled. Good Rebel defense, but North Summit comes up with the loose ball, and the foul is charged to Kaylee Cornea. Two shots for Brecklin Murdoch, who's making her living at the free throw line tonight. Has two field goals, and one, two, three, four, five free throws. Make it six free throws. And uh, the first one is good, second one is good as well. Murdoch has attempted 14 free throws already in this ball game and puts her team up by eight again, 34-26. Kiera on the left wing, guarded by Lehman. Gives her just a little space. Kiera takes advantage, shoots the three, but misses short. 
And Murdoch has the rebound. She, her outlet pass is stolen. Kiera goes to the hoop and a blocking foul. Murdoch trying to draw the charge. North Summit fans call out the you gotta be kidding me. Tough to call, like <laughs> that was a touch and go. Could have gone either way. And uh, for Murdoch, that's a third personal foul. Second team foul, Kiera at the Bear Lake Realty free throw line for the first time since the first quarter. Kiera missed two on that trip. She hits her first on this trip, is in double figures, scoring with 10 points. Another Bear Lake Realty free throw coming for Kiera. Grohl, this season, right around 60% from the free throw line. Second Bear Lake Realty free throw up, front of the rim to the glass and eases down through. Rebels down by six, 34-28. See if they can cross that six point barrier. Kiera knocks a pass down, but it's out of bounds before anybody can get to it on the baseline and North Summit will inbound from that spot. Grace Crystal looking in down low, nothing there. Fires in the corner, Kiera deflects that one. Again, knocks it out of bounds. Good anticipation by Grohl. You see Grace Crystal looking to the corner and now a tough inbound position from the very corner for Crystal and the Braves. She's looking in, Kiera guarding for almost five seconds and she lobs it out high to McQueen. She'll get by the defense. Oh boy, got away with a carry as it looked like to me. Dribbles to her left, hesitates and puts it up and in off the glass. That's McQueen's 12th and 13th points. And the Braves are back up by eight. 36-28, Kiera skip pass to Thompson. Lauren skips it back to Grohl, a high pass and Kiera pulls it down. Tries to drive, nothing there. Lehman has been tight on the defense. She's very good defensively, quick feet. Hopkin. Drives, kicks it back to Kiara. Grohl dribbles in, kicks it back out left corner. Thompson for three, just long. Pops out, rebound tipped around and on the floor. Crystal wrapped up, jump ball is called. Just before North Summit could get the timeout. Coach Jerry Holmes was off uh, on his feet asking for them, pleading for the timeout, but didn't quite get it. The jump ball is brought to you by Mountain Valley Cattle Company. Eddie and Todd Jensen out of Thatcher, Idaho. A couple North Summit fans on their feet pleading their case for the timeout, but they don't get it. North Summit gets the ball. They had the possession arrow, so it's just under four minutes to go in the third. Brought to you by Epic Recreation. Braves on top by eight. They swing it around. McQueen for three from the left wing. Off the window, no good. Offensive rebound. Putback is off target, and the Rebels pull down the rebound. This time it's Stacy with her fifth board for Rich. She'll go all the way to the other end and charge. An offensive player control found. Grace Crystal goes down, and she's a bit slow to get up. Stacy was trying to drive to the hoop. She was sandwiched between two defenders, and then Crystal very alertly stepped in front, planted her feet, and just waited for Stacy to come. She's slow to get up, and uh, Coach Holmes out to to meet her at the, about the foul line. She says, I'm okay. Gingerly walks off the court, but you can she sees it, see she's in some pain. A uh, round of applause as she gets up to her feet and, and uh, walks of her own accord to the bench. Stacy's first personal. Rebel third team foul. Hadley Richens into the game. Braves work it around the arc. Pass deflected by Grohl again, but out of bounds. And North Summit inbounds to Lehman. Dribbles to her right, looks right, go back left to McQueen. She'll wait, double two, three zone, skip pass across to Lehman, three point shot is off the glass and in. I don't think Zion's bank is open on Saturday, but the bank is open tonight. Rebels pass it ahead, deflected out of bounds by the Braves. 39-28, Braves back up by 11. Stacy looking to inbound, looking finally gets it into Grohl. Kiera follows the screen to her left, gets around the D, scoops it up a bit short, and the rebound, good reach out rebound by Gracie Watterson for North Summit. Up ahead to the right wing, Lehman dribbles and kicks it up top to McQueen. She'll lob it left side, three point for Hadley Richens, goes over the top, Lehman rebounds for North Summit. Back outside, McQueen finds a lane, drives in, and can't get the shot to go. Stacy with the rebound for Rich. That layup attempt for McQueen was a bit short. Kiera fires ahead to Thompson, underneath looking for Smith, deflected away out of bounds by McQueen. And Rich trailing by 11, 39 to 28 with 2.31 left in the third. 
Risha Larson checks in for Lauren Thompson. McKenna Stacy, a Circle H Landing Cattle Company inbound play, lobs in for Smith. She'll try to shoot, then steps through the defense and puts it up and in. Her initial shot attempt, there was too much traffic, so she took that step she's allowed and put it up and in. Amber's fifth point of the game. She's got a couple of rebounds and five points. Hadley Richens out on the left wing. Rebels in a 2-3 zone still. Braves work it around. McQueen double team and she'll lob it back up top to Richens. 2.05 left in the Epic Recreation third. McQueen fakes the shot, drives all the way, goes too far under, misses the shot, but Murdoch is there for the offense rebound. Put back and a foul. The put back was no good. Amber Smith, I believe, picked up the foul. And I've got that as Amber's first. So Brecklin Murdoch back at the free throw line. This is free throw number 15 missed. And she'll shoot her 16th free throw attempt of the ball game. She's, boy, she's been a mailman getting to the free throw line tonight. Hits the second. One, two, three, four, five of six from the line in this third quarter alone. Kiera left open, shoots the three and hits. That was a deep one and Grohl knocked it down. Rebels back to within seven, 40 to 33. Up across to the left side, pass deflected and Hopkin comes up with it. A station in Randolph Steele gives to Risha and Larson will hand off to Kiera across the timeline, a minute 30 left in the third. Hopkin, Larson across the top, right wing to Kiera. Lehman comes out defensively. Give off to Stacy, back to Grohl. Lehman comes out a little further on the defense this time. Did not allow that long three. Pass in and Lehman reaches in, slaps Smith on the arm. And the whistle comes. Lehman's first personal, I believe. I said... Uh, Murdoch was attempting her 15th and 16th free throws. Those were number 13 and 14. My, my mistake. Kick out to Amber Smith from the base or from the inbound play. Brought to you by Circle H Landon Cattle. Smith misses the free throw, and then Murdoch or McQueen pulls down the rebound. Smith just reached up and pulled it away, and a foul was called on Smith. I didn't see contact. Coach Grohl or Coach Lundgren doesn't like the call either. And with 1:12 left to go, we've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a quick one as well. It's the Epic Recreation third quarter. And Rich trails 40 to 33 on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. This is Rebel Senior Kiara Grohl. Thanks for tuning in to Rich Rebel Hoops on KDQ FM 98.3 Rebel Radio with live streaming video at mylocalradio.com. Make this winter epic when you rent from Epic Recreation in Garden City, Utah. We rent cabins, snowmobiles, snowcat razors, snow tire bicycles, snowshoes, and more. Thank goodness winter is long because at Bear Lake, we make it epic. Call us today and book your epic adventure at Bear Lake. Recreation and lodging packages available year round. Call Epic Recreation today or book online at epicrecreation.net. Rich trailed by as much as 12, 13 points in the second quarter, but they battled back in the second and they've been within five, six, seven points for most of this third quarter, but just can't quite get over that six point, maybe five point deficit as North Summit this is an, a, a dangerous, boy, offensively explosive team and a very good defensive team. They forced 18 Rebel turnovers and with a lot of different ways they can beat you. Kennedy McQueen has 13 points. Brecklin Murdoch, uh, 8 of 14 from the free throw line and has 12 points in the game. Braves with the basketball. Skip pass to the corner. They go to Hadley Richens. Her three-point shot is off target. Offensive rebound for Gracie Watterson. Her putback is good. She has six in the ball game. And Rich trails 42-33. Pass into the middle. Knocked away from Hopkins. She gets it back. Gives off to Stacy, who dribbles. Gets to her feet as she dribbles. And Coach Lundgren calls the timeout and gets it. 42-33. Boy, what a display of awareness from the freshman McKenna Stacy to keep the dribble alive as she went to the floor and then got back up. 44.8 seconds left here in the third quarter. Brought to you by Epic Recreation. We'll take a quick timeout and be back on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com.
The best family vacations create lifelong memories. The Wind River Hotel and Casino in Riverton, Wyoming offers a family dinosaur dig and vacation package that includes digging for fossils at the Wyoming Dinosaur Center, sack lunches, tours of the museum, and lovely clean rooms for a comfortable night stay. With three restaurants to choose from, you and your family will have fun, eat well, and rest easy. Schedule your family dinosaur dig at the Wind River Hotel and Casino in Riverton, Wyoming today. Call 866-657-1604. Braves have outscored the Rebels 14 to 10 in this quarter, and a big part of that is the rebounding. Uh, just got uh, stat from Rob Lavesen that uh, North Summit has out rebounded Ridge 15 to 4 in this quarter. That puts them well on top in the rebounding category, 20 or 33 to 11. Kiera left open for three on the inbound play, misses just short. Stacy tips the rebound out. The official's not sure whose ball it is. And they'll have a short discussion and give it to North Summit. I think that's the right call as Stacy went up and tipped it and it went out of bounds. Inbound to McQueen with 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Braves fire it underneath and uh, an air ball missed, but an offensive rebound, but then a miss and Rich has it. Kiera finds a lane, dribbles in, ball knocked away. McQueen reached in to knock the ball away and then Kiera got fouled on the other side. Oh, it's, uh, it was uh, the call against McQueen, her second personal, I believe. Gives the Rebels a Circle H Landing Cattle Company inbound play from the baseline. Stacy fires in to Grohl. Kiera skips it across. Hopkin, long two, missed, and the rebound, Murdoch. Quickly, the Braves running. Push up court. Stacy guarding McQueen. She'll dribble pass, then kick it into the corner. Richens down inside. Rebel defense comes. It's. Passed and knocked away. Watterson was trying to get it underneath to Murdoch, and Rebels deflected it out of bounds with 5.2 seconds left in the third quarter. Brought to you by Epic Recreation. Hadley Richens lobs into the middle. Rebels falling asleep. Murdoch misses the shot. Rebound tipped around. Hopkin comes up with it at half court. Well, too, a few too many dribbles, and time expires. Rebels down by nine, 42 33 at the end of three. North Summit on top. Third quarter is brought to you by the uh, by Epic Recreation. Make your vacation an epic one to remember. With rentals in Bear Lake, visit epicrecreation.net. No matter what you need to have printed, Westar Printing is the place you want to have it done. Calendars, letterhead, envelopes, brochures, books, posters, vinyl banners, business forms, announcements, wedding invitations, and business cards are just a few examples. You can also have your favorite family photos printed on canvas or placed into a personalized family photo calendar. You will want to do business with Westar Printing. Stop in today. Westar Printing, 243 7th Street in Evanston. North Summit outscored the Rebels 14 to 10 in that quarter. It was a five point lead to start the third, to start the fourth, it's a nine point North Summit lead. Rebels keeping it close, battling. Again, this is a Braves team that beat Tabiona just a couple of weeks ago, 54 to 26. And North Summit ranked in the top five in Deseret News classification, or the Deseret News 2A rankings. Rich with the basketball to start this fourth quarter, brought to you by Bear Lake Memorial Hospital. Count on us to care. Kiera leading the way for Rich with 14 points. A long pass. Cornea saves it. Rich had just three turnovers in the third quarter and a foul up court as Hopkin got a piece of, I believe it was Hadley Richens. No, Adrian Rouser, who went uh, ended up on the floor. Hopkin picks up a third personal foul. Rebels took care of the ball much better in that third quarter, but couldn't get a lot of shots to fall. And North Summit had tons of rebounds and a few on the offensive end. Rouser around the top of the arc to Murdoch at the top of the key. McQueen on the right wing, follows a screen, pick and roll, but no passing lane, good help defense. Now up top and a travel. I did not see that. The official saw something, was it? I just missed it. Seven and a half left to go in the Bear Lake Memorial Hospital fourth. Stacy goes to Hopkin into the lane. Risha with a quick, Talisha rather, with a quick shot. It's short, and the Braves pull down the rebound. Up ahead, McQueen bounces underneath to Murdoch, who misses short, gets her own rebound, and puts it up and in. Brecklin Murdoch has been, there's probably a better term for a girls' basketball player than a beast, but boy, she has been that tonight. 
Rebels give it away. Hadley Richens goes up court. Shot blocked by Stacy, and on the baseline, after an offensive rebound, Murdoch gives it back to Rich. 44-33. Rebels down by 11. Kiera breaks the half-court trap up ahead to Hopkin. Inside to Talisha, and the ball a little behind her on the, <clears throat> on the pass goes through her hands. But North Summit, after the takeaway, gives it right back, a traveling as McQueen was at midcourt, got the ball, couldn't get rid of it before an, an extra step. Hopkin left wing, bounces up top to Stacy. McKenna, who had seven points in the second quarter, but none in the third, gives it to Hopkin left side. She splits the defense, goes up with the left hand and in. Nice move by Julia Hopkin. She has four points in the game. And Rich trails again by nine. McQueen out on the right wing, lobs inside for Murdoch. Help defense comes, but just a bit late Murdoch finishes and she has 12 16 points I believe the lead for North Summit back to 11 down on the baseline Stacy bumped and fouled 46 35 the foul charged Adria to Gracie Watterson that's her third personal Got a few players, well, a couple with three fouls. Watterson and Murdoch with three fouls apiece. McQueen has two. Langston has two as well. Rebels kick it outside. Stacy misses a bit long on the three. Talisha Larson offensive rebound, but as she tries to give it away, almost stolen. Smith gets it back, gives to Kiera for three. Nothing but Nata, T7 propane and Woodruff three-pointer following the offensive rebound by the Rebels. Quickly up court. Langston, or Watterson rather. Dishes it off, gets it back up top. Hadley Richens, three straight away. Back of the iron, no. Rebound tipped, and Kiera has it. She's looking ahead, has Cornea and Smith. It's a three on two. Pass across the lane to Cornea. Defense is there, so she'll kick it back outside. Stacy for three, yes! McKenna Stacy from downtown. The Rebels with six quick points, and Rich is back within five. 46 to 41 on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. Timeout on the court, and we'll take one as well with 5.36 remaining in the Bear Lake Memorial Hospital 4th on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com. As the hospital closest to Bear Lake, professional medical care is always available at Bear Lake Memorial Hospital in Montpelier, Idaho. As a full-service hospital, Bear Lake Memorial offers an emergency room that's open 24-7. They treat patients of all ages. Other professional services include physicians' clinics, assisted living, home health services, counseling, dialysis, physical, occupational, and speech therapy, orthopedic care, and skilled nursing. Bear Lake Memorial Hospital in Montpelier, Idaho. Count on us to care. Fourth quarter action, Rebels with a quick 6-0 run as McKenna Stacy and Kiara Grohl both knock down T7 Propane and Woodruff three-pointers. We'll mark one of those as a candidate for the Rolene Kennedy at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet play of the game or shot of the game. We'll knock them or mark them both down. 46-41. The Rebels still trail by five. This is the closest they've been since they led. Well, they led early 3-1. to one. Here's a quick jumper from the right side, off target. Rebels have the rebound. Cornea tracked it down. I got Kaylee with four or five rebounds. Kiara goes all the way to the hoop. Misses just a bit strong over the top. McQueen pulls down the rebound, and Kiara bumps her from behind as she tries to knock the ball away. She had a clean swat, but then McQueen cut to her right just at the same time that, that uh, Kiara swatted the ball away from McQueen, and it was a clear foul a clear push McQueen goes to the free throw line she's shot one free throw in this ball game had 11 points in the first quarter just two in the second two in the third and she's two for two from the free throw line on the one and one she hits the front end and gets a second the sophomore can't get the second to go and Thompson pulls down the rebound a six point North Summit lead Rebels go up court to Cornea and then swing it around. A 2-3 zone defense for the Braves. Thompson draws in the D, kicks it off to, hot, or to Grohl for the three. A long rebound, tipped out and picked up by Stacy. McKenna gives it back to Grohl, then to Thompson, back to Thompson, or to Grohl, and then to Thompson again. Across the top, Stacy dribbles to her right. McQueen pokes the ball away, but Smith comes up with it. She's on the floor, and Coach Lundgren calls a timeout. 
Boy, that was a quick timeout for Rich. 4.41 left to go in this ball game, and Rich with the timeout. This is a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. And uh, Cody Lundgren, boy, when, when, <laughs> when he wants a timeout, he makes sure the official knows about it. He jumps up and finds the closest official and shouts in his ear as loudly as possible. So Rich with a second chance here. 4.41 left to go. It's 47-41. to 41. Rebels trail on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. They've come alive here in this third quarter. Offensively, a couple of three-pointers brought to you by T7 Propane in Woodruff. Could use another one here for all your propane needs. Call 435-793-4208. Jump balls tonight brought to you by Mound Valley Cattle Company. We had about 30 of those in the JV game. Just a couple in the varsity. Cornea, got to get it in quick. Bounces into the corner to Thompson just before the five-second violation. And on the Circle H Atlanta Cattle Company inbound play, but Rich turns it over. Ball knocked away, picked up by Lehman. She may have gotten away with a travel as she her, drug her pivot foot trying to stop. But the officials deemed that the pivot foot didn't move. Murdoch at the free throw line. Dribb dribbles to her right or passes to her right. McQueen in the corner. Stacy on her. McQueen able to get by. Stacy ends up on the floor. Bounce pass inside. Miss shot. Murdoch the offensive board in the putback. And Brecklin Murdoch. 18 in the ball game. Rebels quickly up court, and Thompson hits the short corner jumper from the left side. And then a steal for Stacy in the putback. The put, the shot is good. Rich within four. Quickly the other way, a missed shot from the baseline. Kiera has the rebound. She'll push up all the way, poked away by Richens on the side, and out of bounds. Rich will have a, a Circle H Landing Cattle Company inbound play. Well, I got to catch up on the scoring real quick. 49-45. McKenna Stacy with five points in the quarter, 12 in the ball game. She averages seven and a half. Lauren Thompson dribbles to her left, left corner. Stacy dribbles in. She found a lane, floated it up, and just missed it. Big rebound by Murdoch. She's been a monster tonight on the boards. McQueen. Crossover dribble, gets into the lane, dishes off to Murdoch, off the glass and in. Nice move by McQueen, great finish by Murdoch. After the pretty pass. Up top, Rebels give to Hopkins, she'll try to drive, cut off, gives back outside to Stacy, who just loses the dribble. She was bumped just a little by McQueen, hoped for the foul, didn't get it. And I don't think she should have. 311, I, I wish she did, but I don't, I don't think it was enough for the foul. Three minutes. Seven seconds to go. North Summit up by six. A long pass, then into the lane to a cutting. Murdoch, who finishes with the left hand. Ten points in the fourth quarter for Brecklin Murdoch. And the Braves are on top by eight. 53-45. Smith in the lane, and she's pushed. That could have been a whistle for a travel, but the push caused what looked like a travel. And the foul charge to Brecklin Murdoch. Boys, that's her fourth if the Rebels could... Get her on the bench with five fouls. That would certainly be a, a boost. Inbound to Thompson. A Circle H Atlanta Cattle Company inbound play. Thompson looks to the corner. Kiera. Thompson thought Kiera was going to stop there in the corner, but Grohl was seeing the defense and was going to head up to the, the wing, and the ball just sailed out of bounds. Inbound play for North Summit. Stacy tips it away. She's been tasked with a man-to-man -man matchup on one of 2A's top scorers at 21, uh, 20 points per game. Stacy hounding Kennedy McQueen. McQueen has 14 in the ball game. She gets the ball. Stacy bonked her on the head, trying to knock the ball away. McQueen responds by driving to the hoop and finishing on the left side. 55-45. Rebels down by 10. They'd climbed to within five. Bounce pass in the lane goes through the Rebel intended receiver and into the hands of North Summit. Stacy trying to foul McQueen, can't get it. And McQueen dribbles up court, they give to Grace Crystal. 2.10 left to go, a 10 point lead for the Braves. Left side, Lehman fakes right, goes left. Good defense by Grohl to stay right with her. Up top, Murdoch dribbles right and then gives to Lehman. Nope, to Crystal rather. Pick and roll, but nothing doing. Now a fire back down inside. Murdoch hit with the, or up with the left hand, misses. Smith with the Rebel rebound. Her third rebound of the half. Rebels push up court. Thompson in the lane. Puts it up with the right hand and gets it to go. Thompson with a nice finish. 
has four points in the quarter. And now Rich needs a quick takeaway or maybe to think about fouling. McQueen probably not the one you want to foul as Stacy guards her. She'll dribble up, try to run right through Smith. A blocking foul. Are you kidding me? Smith was camped in the lane. She had a campfire and marshmallows roasting. But it's not going to count. It's a blocking foul on Smith, her third personal. Rebel eighth team foul, and McQueen is at the line. One and one. Or are they going to give her two? They do give her two. She was in the act of shooting. McQueen misses the first, has one more. Would put the Braves up by nine if she can hit it. She cannot. It's out to the right side, and Murdoch, who else? She got another offensive rebound. Gives the Braves another chance with the ball under a minute and a half to go. Rebels have got to think about a foul. McQueen dribbles by, into the lane, up with the right hand and in. Boy, she is good. 57-47, Hopkin for three, can't get it to go. Good box out out there by Langston and she gets the rebound, but her pass up ahead is tipped and taken away by Stacy. Stationing Randolph Steele, one minute to go and Kiera thought about the three. Lehman on the defense was right there. Kiera couldn't shoot. Uh, Lehman has been good tonight defensively. And with 58.9 seconds to go, Kiera dribbled twice, double dribble, and the Rebels turn it over for a seventh time in the quarter. Fourth quarter action is brought to you by Bear Lake Memorial Hospital. Time out on the floor. We'll take a quick one as well on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com. They really appreciate every customer at Cash Honda Yamaha in Cash Valley. They understand that you have lots of options when it comes to purchasing outdoor recreation vehicles. That's why they work hard to earn your business by making sure they understand exactly what you want. They're friends with their customers. When you're happy, they're happy. If you haven't been to their store, they invite you to come visit. And if you've already one of their friends, stop in again soon and check out all of this season's gear. Cash Honda Yamaha in between Logan and Smithfield on US 91. Fifty-eight point nine seconds remaining on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard, and the Rebels trail by ten. Rich had climbed to within four. It was forty-nine forty-five, but North Summit on an eight-to-two run since that point leads by ten. Rebels with the basketball. They've got uh, too many turnovers in this fourth quarter. Seven by my tally. Rich County keys of the game. One was start strong. They did not do that. They've picked up the pace. They've matched North Summit's intensity. And they've done a, a decent job against McQueen. Averages 21 points. Stacy reaches in a, a good, strong foul, attempting the steal and a foul, barring the lack of a steal. So that'll put McQueen at the line to shoot two. She's just one of four in the quarter. But the way she shoots from everywhere on the floor, I'll be surprised if she doesn't hit both of these at least one it's a one and one that's a ninth team foul McQueen's first is good just skips past the or skips over the front of the rim and down through 58 47 a 12 or 11 point lead McQueen can make it 12 with a second free throw and she does 59 47 McQueen robs Murdoch of an opportunity for the offensive rebound but I'm sure Brecklin's okay with that 50 seconds left to go in the ball game Kiera gets to the hoop drives all the way in and puts it up with the right hand now can Rich get a steal Stacy guarding McQueen and she has to reach out and foul her that'll be a, I believe a third foul on McKenna and put McQueen back at the free throw line or she just knocked down two without any trouble. Knocks down that one and has one more coming. 60 to 49, North Summit averaged 46 points per game. They've been a little better than that in this one, in part because of offensive rebounds. There's another, Brecklin Murdoch underneath. Can't quite finish, another offensive rebound. She just wants to pad her stats. 14 or 12 points in the, the fourth quarter for Brecklin Murdoch. Rebels up court, just throw it away. And that's been a, a problem tonight. The turnovers and the offensive rebounds. I don't have individual numbers on Brecklin Murdoch, but she's got to be around 15, 16 rebounds to go along with her 24 points in this ball game. Watterson holding and travels, then dribbles. Up court, travels again and gets away with it. Drug the pivot foot up to Murdoch and she finishes. 
Boy, I, I know it's late, but two travels. They're pretty blatant. Got to call at some point. 64-49. Rebels the other way. A strong move by Grohl. She's fouled. 5.3 left. And Rich not going to win this one, but we'll try to change the final score. Kiara Grohl with 19 points in the ball game will shoot two. The foul charged to Kyrie Langston, her third. At the Bear Lake Realty free throw line tonight, the Rebels have struggled just 7 of 20 coming into the quarter. That's their first free throw of this fourth quarter. Bear Lake Realty free throw number two for Kiara. Good. She hit them both. 64-51. Braves inbound to McQueen. She'll just hold it and run out the final five seconds. And the Braves win 64-51 to on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. A 13-point win for the Braves in a, a close one. That, uh, boy, this is a very solid North Summit team that had the Rebels not played as well as they had. Could have been a, a 20 or 30 point win for North Summit. That's a, a, a good team, a very athletic and a lot of offensive firepower. 64-51, the final score. Braves earn the win. This fourth quarter has been brought to you by Bear Lake Memorial Hospital. Count on us to care. Make sure to stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll have the Jimmy John's Freaky Fast recap, Town of Lake Town sports update, plus the Randolph Country Store adjustment of the game and the Rolling Kennedy play and shot of the game after this on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. Whenever you need dirt work, always think of J-Bar Excavation first. The professionals at J-Bar Excavation have all the right equipment and the experience to provide quality work that fits your schedule and your budget. Serving customers for years, the team at J-Bar Excavation understands the area and will work with you to create exactly what you're looking for. Stop in today, J-Bar Excavation, 90 Main Street in Randolph, Utah. It doesn't matter what season you visit Bear Lake. Make sure you always stop at Pugstone Sporting Goods. You'll find lots of great quality inventory at low prices, including guns and ammo. During the winter, you can rent cross-country skis, snowshoes, and buy your ski passes to Beaver Mountain. Pugstone's is always the best place to get information about the area and purchase your hunting or fishing licenses. Everything you need with one stop at Pugstone Sporting Goods at the four-way stop in Garden City. Back on the post-game show, we've got plenty coming up. The Rolene Kennedy at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet shot and play of the game, plus the Randolph Country Store adjustment of the game. But first, it's the Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Recap. We're fresh and fast meet at 113 Front Street in Evanston. And let's recap the weekend. Uh, Rebel boys were in action Thursday night and Friday night. The boys with a nice win against Bear Lake in overtime. Rich battled hard against uh, and, and having lost to Bear Lake earlier this season but the Rebels battled back and beat Bear Lake after being outscored 9-5 to in the first quarter. They trailed 26-16 at the half but a monster third quarter 19-7 to Rebels outscored the Bears in that third quarter and Rich won in overtime 54-51 Rebels followed that up the next night they jumped out to an early 15-8 to lead on west side led by as much as 21 in the third quarter the Pirates battled back, made it close, but the Rebels ended up winning by 12, 57 to 45. The Rich Boys improved to 7 and 3 with the wins on Thursday and Friday night over rivals Bear Lake and Westside. Then Saturday night at Rich High School, the Rebel Girls back in action against rival North Summit, the Braves from Colville. And the Braves jumped out to a big lead in the first quarter, 15 to 5. Rebels struggled offensively in that first quarter and had nine turnovers. But Rich battled back in the second quarter, outscoring the Braves 18 to 13 and went into the half trailing by just five. Third quarter, Rebels kept it just about even, but then in the fourth quarter, the turnover bug started to bite again. Brecklin Murdoch had 14 points in the fourth quarter alone, finished with 26. Kennedy McQueen had 23. Those two carried the Braves in the fourth quarter, and the Rebels just couldn't quite keep pace as North Summit wins 64 to 51. And the Rebel girls dropped to five and six on the season ahead of next week's region opener against uh, Intermountain Christian there down in Salt Lake. That's your Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Recap. Gourmet sandwiches fresh and fast every day at 113 Front Street in Evanston. You're tuned in to the Re Rebel Post Game Show and after the break we'll have the Rolling Kennedy at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet play and shot of the game. Randolph Country Store adjustment of the game plus some post game highlights and stats. That's coming up on Rebel Basketball and the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. 
When you have dental care done, you let the dentist and the hygienists into your personal space. It's important that you and your family trust that your dentist will provide professional care in a comfortable atmosphere. Comprehensive Family Dental is a family-owned and operated business that understands how important this trust is. Two locations make it convenient for you and your family when scheduling appointments. When it comes to your dental work, expect the best. Call Comprehensive Family Dental today at 435-793-2210. If you're looking for live local sports, local news, weather, live classifieds, and free photo downloads, search no more. MyLocalRadio.com has what you want. Watch your teams live or browse the tens of thousands of photographs of Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho high school events from speech and drama competitions, rodeo, an array of different athletics, activities, community events, and so much more. Visit MyLocalRadio.com today and find what you're looking for. Back on the post-game show, Rebels, uh, I, I, I got to say, you know, despite a loss, 64-51 to 51 against North Summit, I feel like the Rebels played a good game tonight. A few too many turnovers, uh, just 41% from the free throw line. But it, 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 you're going to have, uh, you know, you're never going to play a perfect game. And, and if you kind of disregard those two things, if the Rebels can take care of the ball better in the future, uh, that was a, a very good performance from Rich, and 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 you got some scoring from Kiara Grohl despite some very p- good pressure defense from the North Summit Braves, and McKenna Stacy had a great game off the bench. Smith contributed, Hopkin, Cornea Thompson all contributed in, in a, 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 a I felt like a good performance, a a nice game for Rich despite the 13 point loss. Rebels shot 50 percent from two point range, 33 percent from three point range. Just 41% from the free throw line, but that got better in the second half when Rich uh, went five of six from the line in that uh, second half. So things improved. They're getting better, and, and they competed well with a very good North Summit team that, again, is ranked in the top five in 2A basketball. Now, I mentioned the turnovers. I've got Rich with 26 turnovers in the ball game. North Summit had their fair share as well with 19. That's probably more than they'd like to have, but the other issue that Rich had tonight was rebounding. Brecklin Murdoch, I would estimate, had 17 or 18 rebounds to go along with 26 points in the ball game, and she's a, a tall, strong, and uh, physical player, and that gave Rich some trouble inside. But a 64-51 loss for Rich on the Stacy's Repair scoreboard. Time for the uh, Rolling Kennedy Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet shot and play of the game. The shots came in the fourth quarter. Rebels were down by 11 46 35 and then they went on a quick 6-0 run with two three-pointers one from Kiera, one from mckenna and that brought rich to within five that was just about as close as they would get in that fourth quarter and uh, those are your shots of the game rolling kennedy at auto farm castle rock chevrolet play of the game that came in the third quarter or in the second quarter rather and Kiera was guarded out high drove past the defense it looked like she was going to be too far under the hoop but just a quick release got that shot up and in with the left hand and that brought rich to within eight in the second quarter and that's your rolling kennedy at auto farm castle rock chevrolet play of the game the randolph country store adjustment of the game uh, boy i'm having a hard time between the, in the third quarter the rebels took care of the ball much better just three turnovers compared with nine in the first six in the second eight in the fourth so that's one good adjustment they made another good adjustment they made was the free throw shooting in the second half after just 25 percent four of 16 in the first half from the free throw line the rebels went four or make it five of six in the second half uh to finish at 41 percent so that was a good adjustment at the half as well better free throw shooting rebounding though was an issue we'll get to that here in a second the randolph country store adjustment of the game randolph country store we may be small but we've got it all uh, is the adjustment to the North Summit press and pressure. Rebels had a good third quarter with just the three turnovers. I mentioned the rebounding. North Summit with 20 offensive rebounds, and they out-rebounded Rich 44 to 31. Boy, 20 offensive rebounds. That kills you. I would estimate Brecklin Murdoch's uh, 26 points. She probably had 12 or 14 of those on offensive rebound putbacks. She also did well from the free throw line. And she was a huge factor in North Summit's win tonight. She averages 
almost six points per game. She went off tonight for 26. Well, your post-game show continues. Coming up on the post-game show, we have the Town of Randolph Rebel Sports Update. We'll also take a quick look ahead at what's coming up next week in Rich County Sports and Activities. So stay tuned. Our, again, our final score tonight on the Stacy's Repair Scoreboard. North Summit 64, the Rebels 51. That's five wins in a row for North Summit against the Rebel girls. We'll take a quick break and be back on the post-game show on the wildlife and mylocalradio.com. There's real power in enthusiasm. It spells the difference between mediocrity and having real successful accomplishments. The mayor and town council from the town of Lake Town recognize the enthusiasm of the parents, teachers, fans, and students of Rich High School. Whether it's your education, athletics, academics, or even your daily chores, enthusiasm can make all the difference. When it comes to hard things in life, don't say, why me? Just say, try me. Remember, it's the tough things that make us the strongest. The cattle ranchers at Lazy S Ranching are proud supporters of the youth in our community. Sim, Joe Jean, Carol, and Millie Weston, along with Sim Jr. and Maggie, remind everyone to eat more beef and cheer on the Rich Rebels. That's right, eat more beef and cheer on the Rich Rebels. Ryan Steinekert with senior Mariah Sellers at Rich High School. Mariah, thanks for your time today. You're welcome. How's your senior year going? Pretty good right now. I'm doing the musical, and I'm also a part of the college classes and stuff. So you said you're involved in the musical as well. Yeah, I'm the wardrobe for the Beauty and the Beast. So now, now in, I'm not real familiar with the show, but I remember in the, the cartoon, she, like, she opens up the drawers and then moths fly out and she's embarrassed. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, and she's also an opera singer. Are you an opera singer? No. <laughs> Have you been working on your opera singing? No. <laughs> Does Mr. Wood want you to work on your opera singing? No, I don't think so. I mean, I just want. I only have to sing one high note, so it's good. Is that high note uh, something you're gonna have to work toward, or are you getting there now? Oh, I can get it pretty easily. <laughs> no problem. Huh? No problem. I noticed today your hands are all black and blue. Were you working on the set today? Oh yeah, I was painting uh, part of the scenery for the walls and stuff. Is there parts of being in the show that, I mean, like you're painting, you're working on the scenery, you're working on your lines, the singing, is that all stuff you enjoy? Definitely. I'm definitely, like, artistic, and that's fun to me. So you like art and music? I mean, that's all right down your alley? Yep. What do you like about all that stuff? It just gives me a thrill, and it helps me to relax. Do you do, I mean, are you taking some art classes, or have you taken some? I have taken some, but I'm not taking any right now. And is that something you're going to pursue in the future? Yep. That's what I'm going into for my college. More specific to what are you going into? It's like visual arts, photography, illustration, something like that. Do you have a, a career in mind, a, a, an end goal, or what you want to become? No, not yet. <laughs> Haven't chosen. Anything that keeps you involved with art, you'll go with it? Pretty much, yeah. What's your favorite uh, I mean, like medium? Do you like to paint? Do you like to draw pencils? What is it? A lot of it. All of that. <laughs> You'll do it all? Yep. Uh, do you do, uh, like, computer graphics as well? Yeah, I'm good at that. Mariah, in the show, you're the wardrobe, you said. Is that for both casts? No, just uh, half of it. So, like, the other half, I'm part of the village on my off night. Have you done the, the show in other years? No. So what prompted you to do it this year? It just looks so fun, so I decided to try it. And when I just, when I heard they were doing the... Beauty and the Beast, I was like, yes. <laughs> you like the show? Yes. Did you see, uh, have you seen the play before, the, the musical, the show? Like, I mean, the, the live show, the, oh. the play. No, I haven't seen the live show, but I have seen the movie, and I loved it. Mariah Sellers, senior at Rich High School, thanks so much for your time. Uh, break a leg in the show. Good luck with the art and everything else. Thank you. Thanks, Mariah. This is the Rebel Sports Update presented by the town of Lake Town. Good luck, Rebels, from the mayor and town council of Lake Town. Sim Weston, along with council members Dallas Clark, Chris Hodges, Gary Ogilvie, and Delora White. A tight one uh, at late in the, I mean, midway through the fourth, the Rebels were within four, but an eight to two run by North Summit. 
And uh, they went on to win by 13, 64 51 on the Stacy's Repair Scoreboard. Stay tuned, one more quick break. We'll look ahead at what's coming up next week in Rich County Sports and Activities right after this on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. In life, your integrity could also be considered your own personal brand. In ranching, the brand outlasts the rancher. As individuals, your character and your integrity also outlast your lifetime. At Reese Land and Livestock, the Rexes congratulate the Rich County School District students as they create personal integrity, their own individual brands, and wish you good luck in this year's academics and sports. Welcome back to the post-game show. Rebel Boys beat Rare Lake in overtime on Thursday night and then beat Westside uh, Friday night. Rebel Girls tonight with a, a very competitive game against North Summit, but uh, falling short 65, 64 to 51. And again, a 13-point win for North Summit, but it felt a lot closer than that. And, and really, again, looking at, uh, at the score and where it was midway through the fourth, Rebels were down just four but North Summit pulled away in the end to win 64 to 51. North Summit improves to six and five on the season. Rebels dip to five and six, and Rich will get back on the court. The girls, uh, well, the freshmen will be at Mountain View on Thursday. That's girls and boys. The, the girls varsity will be at Intermountain Christian on Friday night, and, the, the, and then uh, girls and boys varsity teams will host Duchesne on Saturday. Let's uh, get into that to look ahead at Rich County Sports and Activities. Uh, looking ahead to Tuesday, January 9th, there's a bunch going on with the Career and Technical Education Pathways presentation at Rich Middle School. They'll have that at 9.15 a.m. Tuesday, January 9th, and then at Rich High School the same day from at 11.45. The faculty will have the presentation at 3.30 uh, on that same day, January 9th. Uh, Wyoming Cowgirls will be in action versus New Mexico in Laramie. Pre-game right here on KDQ is at 6 o'clock, tip at 6.30. If you want to listen to Wyoming Cowgirls basketball this Tuesday night. And then uh, looking ahead to Wednesday, Rich Middle School Honor Society induction is at 7 p.m. And the University of Wyoming Cowboys men's basketball team has to travel down and play in the pit down in New Mexico and Albuquerque. And uh, that uh, will also be right here on KDQ. Pre-game is at 6.30, tip-off at 7. Looking ahead, as I mentioned, next Thursday, the girls and boys basketball teams, just the freshmen, will be at Mountain View with two games in two separate gyms, I believe, both at, starting at 6 o'clock. Friday, January 12th, the girls and boys basketball teams get into region play. It's the region's uh, season region opener at Intermountain Christian. Uh, the Lions, JV girls at 3.30, JV boys at 5, varsity girls will be at 6.30, Varsity Boys at 8, and we'll have both games right here, both Varsity games on the Wildlife and MyLocalRadio.com. Our pregame coverage starts next Friday night at 6 p.m. Rebel wrestlers are also in action next Friday at the Wind River Tournament. That's all day. And the Rebel drill team is in action. They've got the region drill competition at the Severe Valley Center in Richfield, Utah, next Friday and Saturday, I believe. Yeah, that is January 12th and 13th for the Rebel drill team. So wishing them the best of luck next weekend. Then on Saturday, Rebel girls and boys basketball teams will host Duchesne. Freshmen start at 2.30. Our coverage will start at 5 p.m. next Saturday night. Rebel wrestlers continue the Wind River Tournament. Drill team continues the region competition. And then Rich Middle School boys basketball team will be in action at the Evanston Jamboree. That's going on all day next Saturday. University of Wyoming Cowgirls are at Colorado State next Saturday. And the pregame's at 1.30, tip-off at 2 o'clock. The Wyoming Cowboys will be at, uh, at the, in Laramie at the AA hosting Colorado State. Pregame at 1.30, tip at 2 o'clock. And that, those games may be, we'll have to check scheduling. I know the, with the Rebel boys and girls hosting Duchesne, that's a little bit later on. But the Cowboys and Cowgirls playing at the same time, depending on what Evanston High School has, if they have games on Saturday, we may or may not carry Wyoming Cowboys or Cowgirls. We'll have to check that schedule and just tune into mylocalradio.com to uh, KNYN and here to KADQ and we'll let you know. That does it for our look ahead at Rebel 
activities and sports coming up in the next week. That also wraps up our post-game show. Once again, our final score on tonight's Stacy's Repair Scoreboard. North Summit with the win, 64-51. Join us next Friday night when Rich takes on Intermountain Christian and opens up region play at the Lions home court down uh, in South Salt Lake Valley. If you can't make the trip, we'll be there for you. JV girls at 3.30, JV boys at 5. Our varsity coverage for the girls game starts at 6 p.m., so don't miss it next Friday night, Rich, at Intermountain Christian. That's going to do it for us tonight for our videographer, Rob Lafson, our producer, Kate Bullender, back in the studio. I'm Ryan Steinekert, and we'll talk with you again soon. You've been tuned in to Rich High School Basketball on Rebel Radio, KADQ-FM 98.3, with live video online at mylocalradio.com. Today's broadcast has been brought to you by these Rebel supporting businesses and individuals. The Wind River Hotel and Casino of Riverton, Wyoming, West Star Printing and Rocky Mountain Sign of Evanston, Cash Honda Yamaha in Logan, Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet in Evanston, and by MyLocalRadio.com. The proceeding has been a wholly owned production of Old West Media, no portion of which may be used or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the aforementioned rights holder. Our executive producer is Val Cook. We thank office manager Kayleen Anderson and our sales manager Julie Burley, along with KNYN Sports Director Jake Hibbert and production assistants Kate Bollender and A.J. Lamb. Biggest thanks to all of our sponsors and to you for tuning in. We invite you to visit MyLocalRadio.com for archived games and past interviews with Rebel players and coaches. Thank you for joining us on this presentation of Rich Lady Rebel Basketball on KDQFM 98.3 and online at MyLocalRadio.com. Until the next time, Rich High takes the court. Go Rebels!